Testing, one, two, three, testing. Okay, that's weird. I've never had that disconnect before. Ow, on that. Now, there should be game audio. I've been seeing game audio come through. I can turn it up a little bit if it's if you're not hearing much of it. But usually when doing big fights and stuff, it's pretty loud. <clears throat> Let me know if that works, so. And then you said that there was the Falcon Porter here that I didn't have unlocked. Yeah. Ori Samurai. Sight Soldier. Oh, this one? I think he's just got a quest. Do you wish I had a Falcon Porter? Oh. Nope, you are right. I must have missed him. Thank you. Thank you. Game audio is quiet, but I can hear you. No sound on Discord. Man, I, I guess in just, like, moving my microphone, it got unplugged. All right, cool. That's easy enough of a fix. Let's go down here. Video. Input. Do that. There we go. So now you have volume on Discord. And we'll turn this up a little bit more for the stream. We haven't had tech issues in, actually, like, two months. So I'm, I'm okay with having... <laughs> Some tech issues this time, this time around. Man, look at the wall. All of the, the broken metal of the whole thing of that. That's crazy. <clears throat> I don't think I really noticed that it's all like twisted and smashed through. All right, where are we going? We got to go talk to Lord Hian. Oh, he's not here. He actually moved on. So we got to talk to the attendant to go to him. This way atop the broken bridge. He will be most glad for your arrival. It's your giddy. It's your giddy. I'm not expecting much to be voiced tonight, but maybe they do have some voiced cutscenes for these things. Because this is all like side content. We have arrived. That flute. Do you remember when first we shared a view of the castle together? Still under the Garlean's control, perhaps. Yet for all their wickedness, its beauty would not be so easily sullied. <laughs> I'm like, oh man, why am I not a level uh, 80 samurai? It is good to see you, my friend. You must forgive me for, for long foregoing pleasantries, but our guest here is in dire need of your help. Marsak of the Bojan Resistance. A pleasure to make your acquaintance. Like your headband. As you have no doubt already heard from Lord Hian, my people seek to reclaim our homeland from the Empire. Under his auspices and that of the Eorazian Alliance, we aim to do just that. However, we recently received word that the 4th Imperial Legion has been making plans of their own. It has long held the provinces of Yangsha, Dalmaska, and Boja in an iron grip, using its Dalmaskan headquarters to house the bulk of its forces. Until recently, that is. They appear to be diverting resources and manpower to their forces stationed in Boja. In fact, three battalions are en route as we speak. We thought perhaps to strike before they can fully assemble, but the Bojan resistance lacks the means to drive them off on its own. Aid from, <clears throat> excuse me, aid from the Damascan resistance groups may have sufficed. Sadly, even Fran, Fran of Let His Tears, has been unable to bring an end to their infighting. All hope is not lost, however, for Lord Hian made a most intriguing proposal. That we go and help? An idea not of my own, I must confess. We have our old friend Gosetsu to thank. As the Empire tightened its grip on Doma, our people were at a crossroads. Would they lay down and surrender, or stand up and fight? And fight they did. You sought me out, that I could become the spark that lit the fire of rebellion. The same must be done for the Bojans. They require a standard under which they can rally. 
a symbol of hope to steal them for what is to come. Lacking a li living figurehead such as Lord Hien, my comrades and I looked to our nation's past for an inspiration. There we found the answer we sought. Gunhilder's Blades. Gunhilder's Blades. I don't know if I recognize that name. They were the elite guard of the Queen Gunhilde, possessed of weapons blessed by the gods. Their exploits have become legend after defending our peoples against the Alligans in the Third Astral Era. The strength of their steel was matched only by their dedication to the Queen. Should one lose their life in her service, their holy blade was then passed on to a successor. In time, their title would lend itself to more renowned of, to the more renowned of their weaponry, the gun blade. But in truth, oh, we, so we yeah, we do have a little bit of that um, from the the gun blade quest that we've done. But in truth, each member of her guard was a master of a unique weapon. Though these sacred relics have been lost to time, I would see them forged anew. Armed with us, our people would know no fear and drive back our oppressors, just as Queen Gunhilder did to the Alligans. An admittedly lofty and otherwise unattainable goal for one such as I, which is why I have traveled far and wide in search of great minds and greater heroes who might lend us their aid. We would be honored to have one of your renown at our side. So we're going to need to get you a gunblade. I got one of those. We value the Bojans' commitment to the cause, and I would see their plans come to fruition. Unfortunately, duty demands that I remain here. I could not in good conscience leave, knowing the Empire yet threatens the border of Alamigo. Should you choose to accompany him to Boja, might I ask that you act as a representative of the Eastern Alliance in my stead? I'll do what I can. Now, yeah, leave it to me. We'll do our best to not let anyone down. <laughs> the shiny teeths. Thank you, my friend. If there is aught else you require of the Eastern Alliance, you need only ask. Safe travels to you both. How did I not do Ivalice on this character? I thought we did on the We did do Ivalice. Were you not there for the Ivalice? I think we did that for two weeks. You might have been out for some reason. Well, thank you, Justana and Katara, for kind of helping to clear up all of those audio issues and, and kind of weirdness. An airship to our base has been prepared for us at the Enclave's dock. I hope to see you there soon. All right. So then this was quest number two. Yep, Path to the Past. Nice. So we only have this one to go, and then we'll be ready. When you have finished your preparations, meet me at the dock, and we can be on our way. All right. I don't know that we have many preparations. We have some... I think we're going to stick with Paladin for now. Oh, we can't even access our glamour plates. That's fine. I like this gear anyway. It's awesome. Uh, He went to the docks. Oh, way down here. We got two different quests that we're trying to do. Path to the past. There really isn't a fast... I'm just going to fly it. Could have been already flying it if I had... Uh... Taking the time. I wonder if they will ever rebuild Doma in the story. Like, could you imagine several expansions from now? You come back and Doma has been rebuilt and now it's a place that you can actually, like, walk around and interact with other players in? That'd be really cool. Oh, look, there's a tower here. I don't think we've actually been here recently enough to see that there's a tower. There's the one in Doma. At least one of them. I'm sure there's others. Evil towers. But yeah, I thought that uh, since uh, Xenos was making us wait for forever to figure out what's going on with the moon, that we'd make him wait a little bit longer and uh, have some fun doing Boja. Because everyone's talking about Boja, Boja, Boja. Boja this, Boja that. So we're gonna we're gonna do a little Boja tonight ourselves. And I hear from someone that there is a uh, a fun character. Are we going to the Doman Enclave? We might have to. Let's see here. If I journal and hide the Austere's of Flame, that won't matter, will it? The Doman Enclave. 
Oh, we missed <laughs> Riki. <laughs> we disappeared. <clears throat> Katara, you're going to have to uh, run quick. There he is. Okay, he's over there. Yadana! With your blue hair. And your Miko ears. Yadana Justana. <laughs> oh, we got somebody fishing here. Can we shove him in the water? I don't even think that we can get into the water. No, we can't. He'd probably get stuck on the, um, and look. I've got a feeling. Not this time. Is he actually going to try to reel it in? That'd be crazy. If he, like, pulled it back and maybe even caught something. <laughs> go, go, go! <laughs> Uh, but no, if, if we shoved him forward, he'd probably hit the wall like this, and uh, he wouldn't even be able to go. <gasps> Did he catch something? Reeled it in too quickly? Aww, I'm sorry. Don't give up so easily. There you go, buddy. It's alright. <laughs> you got it this time, I'm sure. I'm sure you got it. Whoa! Whoa, what is that? A space jelly. And you're floating around inside of it. You're so small, Justata. Zap. <laughs> that should do like one damage to everyone around. Coming aboard, sir. Travel to Gangos. He was 11 minutes. That's where it's actually been really, really, really nice to be able to... Um, have a lot of you all that we can like set up a lot of parties and get a lot of people jumping into raids really quickly um, which helps out a lot but are you trying to speed run Ivalice Katara the one with the underground um, like desert temple that's so cool I need to do that one again just to take a look at the environment because it's really awesome New location! I made the mistake of trying to do the Ivalice raids during a Mog Tome event. I guess you didn't get many Mog Tomes from it because it took so long to uh, queue. Is this the gear y'all are talking about? The Diable gear? That we should play host to the Liberator of Doma and Alamigo himself. I do not think you could be persuaded to help us. Oh, goodness gracious. Baj Saljan. Basaljan, leader of the Bojan Resistance. Not the best choice for the name. <laughs> Sorry, not the best choice for the job, if I'm to be frank. But I bear the title all the same. Yeah, you could definitely pick a better name, for sure. Your mustache, though, if you're like Ryan George, you have the the mustache of authority. Bloody hairs, man. You want to inspire much confidence speaking like that? Oh, that's way too high a pitch of a voice for this guy. <laughs> I was thinking maybe it was a Lala. Ah, you're quite right, Master Geralt. While you're here, why don't you come and welcome our guest? This is Geralt. We've actually met. Huh? What in the seven hells are you doing here? Yeah, you were, you were helping us uh, get our fancy sword. Orzia's greatest hero and her finest blacksmith. With the two of you here, our plan is sure to succeed. Would that Queen Gundahil were here to witness this. Gunhilder. Gunhilder. He's like, I gotta, I gotta talk to you for a second. Oi, Jake. Just between us, I'm only here to pay off my debts to that black-hearted snake Rowena. <laughs> <laughs> He's got this to Rowena, too. She's been selling supplies to the Resistance, and they happened to mention they were in need of a smithy. So she went and told them on the greatest bleeding smithy of the realm. With skills that put... Fire got himself to shame. Can't rightly say I'm even half what she claimed, but I'll do me darndest. They're happy with me ply and me good grub and even better booze, so pray along, will you? They're happy to ply me good grub. It's like, they're happy to give me. They're happy to provide me with good grub and even better booze. So play along, eh? I mean, we didn't really complain about his blacksmithing when uh, he was working on our sword. 
So now that you're both here, I believe it is time that our plans be made clear. Messija? It's Messija. <laughs> yes, of course. Our goal is to reforge the weapons wielded by Gunhilder's blades. Simple in principle, less so in execution. The weapons themselves and most of the texts denoting the history of Her Majesty and her garb were lost to the devastation of the Fourth Umbral Calamity. That said, we have managed to obtain certain pieces of information, and coupled with Master Geralt's knowledge and expertise, we have made great strides in reproducing these vaunted blades of Eld. We've worked out the manner of weapons that wielded, their shape and white, even the materials needed for me to forge. But we've learned bugger all about what gives them spirit. If you talked to Thancred, he would know. It is said that Queen Gunhilda etched a holy inscription into each blade, thus granting them the power of the gods. Unfortunately, no records of any such engravings remain. But there is still hope. Though not but pale imitations, there once existed replicas which may very well have borne these inscriptions. Alas, they were lost when Boja Citadel fell. I guess we're going to have to go get them back. Do you know the Boja incident? Uh, it sounds vaguely familiar, only because I've seen the quest name. <laughs> but no, I don't know the Boja incident very well. A bitter chapter in our history. We would mark the end of the Boja as we knew it. Fifteen summers passed, the Garleans were conducting experiments, seeking a means to make contact with the Lesser Moon Dalmond. They believed the satellite to be possessed of immense power, and a lunar transmitter was erected in the hopes of harnessing it. Oh! Oh, is this the Boja incident? When that transmitter was activated and the signal sent, Dalmond responded with an immense blast of raw energy. The destruction wrought defied reckoning. We, we we do know about that, but was that in Boja? The citadel, the relics of Queen Gunhilda's kingdom, naught was left but smoke and ash. So that was back when Sid was still working with the Garleans, right? Or Sid's dad was working with the Garleans, and he was they were working on the transmitter to to try to draw power from the moon. Uh, but that was pre the moon actually like exploding and the i think seventh umbral calamity happening um so this this was like pre the seventh umbral calamity back when they were just trying to to reach out to it if i remember correctly right yeah sid talked about it during the mega raid story um apparently that god is pronounced brigo but i still say it by regat <laughs> brigo Brigo. Everyone was queuing. Okay, hold on. Uh, the braids are about 30 minutes each with a bunch of cutscenes in between. I'm going to try to catch up. It may or may not happen. That's okay, Katar. Uh, take your time if you need help. Let us know. Everyone was queuing during the Crystal Raid Towers because those are the ones that granted the tomes. Oh, so no one wanted to do the raids you were trying to do, Justana. Yeah, that would, that would make it very difficult. That makes sense. Yeah, I don't know what which raids are, are MOG events and which ones aren't. Hope I ain't lost yet, though. The Citadel's been wiped off the bloody map by, but there's still a way for us to find those inscriptions. Or so I've been told. A be explanation better left for one far more knowledgeable than I. Oh, so we gotta go talk to somebody else. Oh, we're gonna have to go find the somebody else? Is this the aura everyone kept talking about? <laughs> I feel like we've met her before. Maybe. Maybe. Who could it be? Is it perhaps a professor? <laughs> professor and Charlian? Mikoto. Wait a minute. Hold on. A bunch of people are here. Oh, Holo's here! <gasps> the real, the one, the only, the Holo. Uh, we will... Oh, you're already in a party. Okay, well, that's fine. You don't. I don't need to be in the party. I don't need no party. <laughs> Finally, somebody's here who's actually taller than me. There we go. Mikoto! It's been a long time, but I've heard of your exploits from your uh, students over in Charlian. It'd be really cool if she made a comment about that. How has your research gone since last we met? 
"'Tis good to see you again, Jake, though I had hoped to accomplish more before your arrival. <laughs> Don't tell me your name is Mikoto. I'm sure your help will be as invaluable now as it was aboard the Prima Vista. Which I spent way too long wandering around trying to figure out what quests I was supposed to be doing. You are far too kind. If not for your heroism, Ramza and Alma would have... would have... Aww. That's okay. Everything worked out. From the onset of our endeavor, it was abundantly clear that one versed in theology would be essential. We relayed this to the Alliance, who then introduced us to Mikoto. She is said to be one of the most brilliant minds among the students of Baldessian. And yet it is my ineptitude that demands your presence here. <sighs> I was all but certain that Geralt and I would suffice in this, alas. Oh, Geralt and I alone would suffice in this. Do you need me? Again. Yeah, I mentioned it on the Discord. Yeah. <laughs> Wife was asking if y'all knew that it was my birthday, and I'm like, hey, I said it on the Discord. I was all but certain that Geralt and I alone would suffice in this. Thinking nothing of uh, my good lady. <laughs> Ahem. The matter she speaks of concerns a long forgotten practice of the holy men who once inhabited these lands. Utilizing uniquely aspected crystals, these seers were able to provide succor for those with ailments of the mind. I should have reread that again. So the crystals could help those with ailments of the mind. They possess the ability to shape the very memories, removing those deemed harmful and replacing them, that the patient may find some semblance of peace. Interesting. Remember we were getting a bunch of crystals during Shadowbringers, but they were, like, full of nightmares, like, changed by Eden? I, too, dismissed the notion that such practices could exist. That is, until a recent excavation unearthed compelling evidence of their work. The crystals, we believe, were used in their healing. Unfortunately, we were unable to discern how they are meant to be used. It was at this junction that we petitioned for Mikoto's assistance. Well, lass, I made any progress. Yeah, don't be too harsh on her, all right? My initial analysis suggested the crystals were artificially created at some point in the distant past. The materials used suggest that they are most likely produced by the ancestral peoples of this area. What's more, the ethereal signature is strikingly similar to the ossuary activity of brain waves, which, when made with the resident... <clears throat> Hold on, we gotta do this right. What's more, their ethereal signature is strikingly similar to the ossuary activity of brain waves, which, when made to resonate with the distinct frequency NRR-type harmonic vibrations of an individual's... Oh, uh, I've done it again, haven't I? Ah, <laughs> uh, no, continue! Ah! <gasps> uh. It's always great when, uh... <laughs> Someone is passionate about, uh, something, and they just go on. I'm like, I may not understand anything, but I'm just excited that you're you're happy about whatever it is you're passionate about. I think a simpler approach is in order. <clears throat> Every living being is comprised of corporeal ether of the flesh, incorporeal ether of the soul, and the ethereal residue of their memories. Were one to be possessed of only corporeal ether, they would be but a walking corpse. Conversely, entities comprised of only incorporeal ether are referred to in layman's terms as ghosts. In either case, they may also retain some of their residual memories. Aye, zombies and ghosts. I follow. These crystals... Not in my fantasy video game. <laughs> these crystals were able to isolate and resonate with the ethereal signature of these memories. This allowed the seers to probe the minds of their patients. That's all well and good, lass. But what if their mind ain't what it used to be? Or well, they were too deep in their cups to remember what to look for? An excellent question, Master Geralt. We are all possessed of two types of memory, explicit and implicit. As their names suggest, explicit memories refer to an active remembrance of a previous experience, while implicit memories are acquired and stored passively. For example, when making a new acquaintance, their appearance will become part of your explicit memory, like Mikoto's appearance, allowing you to recall that information. Should a great deal of time pass without meeting, however, such recollection can prove difficult. Yet in that moment, your mind also takes record of the sounds and smells of the location, the temperature, and so on. Mm, perhaps a demonstration would better explain this phenomenon. Uh... Without a seer? Are you a seer? 
right? Makoto info dumping is great. Just on a thank you. <laughs> Thankfully, that will not be necessary. When I was first told of the seers and the practices, I was immediately reminded of your ability to peer into the past. Oh, using the echo. I believe these people were blessed with a similar gift, and it is for that reason they were chosen as to serve as seers. Though I too am possessed of the echo. I forgot about that! I lack the ability to peer into the past as you do, and thus have been unable to wield the power of these crystals. That's why we called you here. Until now, I could do not but posit theories. With your help, however, I may now put them to the proof. Well, we'll do our best, and hopefully we won't mess it up. And you, Master Geralt, shall be my first test subject. He looks very excited about it. Look, if a pretty girl comes up to you and says, you're going to be my test subject, are you going to actually say no? Are you going to actually say no? I think we all know what the answer to that one is. So how does this work? Are we going to try to peer into his memories? <laughs> all of the memories. They're all alcohol. All of it. <laughs> you mean it's all alcohol? Always has been. Jake, I'd like you to recall the last time you experienced the echo. Concentrate on that feeling. Master Geralt, I need you to recall a memory of the past. Maybe anything you like. Just something other than drinking. You better not be poking around in there, digging up something unsavory like, you hear, lass? I don't think she's going to be doing the poking. Please, Master Geralt, focus. Who could focus when she's around? Felicidad... Felicidades? Is that how it said, Lalaki? <laughs> Thank you. A year older, but not a year wiser. There, take a screenshot of the, the flashbang. Do we get to actually walk around in... The memory? Whoa. That that would be new. That's a cool uh cool flag. Wait, she's here too? <gasps> she can travel with us? That's sick. This is most unexpected. For reasons I cannot yet explain, it appears the Echo has allowed me to accompany you into his memory. You're skilled, Smith Girl. There's no denying that. But you hold money about as poor as your liquor. Well, what a bloody good is money if you can't spend it? Man has to live a little, Rowena. Oh, is this when they had their fight? Aye, and it wouldn't hurt for a man to use his head neither. With all that talent of yours, I reckon you could have amassed a small fortune by now. Could have been you sitting on the syndicate instead of Godbert. As if I'd ever want to be anything like that daughter and old half dressed. Wait, half dressed? <laughs> yeah, I was about to be like, uh, who's talking here? Didn't realize my memory was so sharp. Oh, Geralt's here too! Get out of here! Only the Echo people could do it. As you can see, implicit memory is surprisingly comprehensive, from the clear skies and ocean waves down to the exact words of your conversation. Everything appears to have been perfectly preserved. You, you weren't listening to that, were you? Uh, a little late, buddy. Now there's two of them. I'm seeing double. Every time someone gives you good advice, you turn around and do the complete sword and opposite. I used to like that rebellious streak of yours, but now I see you're just a bloody idiot. Honestly, I don't know what I ever saw in you. Oh, Whatever you think you saw, I ain't as if I've changed since then. And you haven't neither. Still as beautiful as the day we met. Aww. That's his best for, uh... <laughs> flirting. Well, hold on a minute. I never said anything like that. I swore me last mug of ale. Implicit memories, while quite comprehensive, are not always true to fact. In the case of painful or otherwise undesirable experiences, 
they can be obfuscated to protect oneself from hard truths. We rewrite our past memories to uh, service our present. Our perception of reality can also distort them as well, even when first committed to mind. Then, as time passes, such distortions can grow. Happy memories become more joyous, and sad ones all the more bitter. Explicit memory is particularly sensitive to such misrepresentations of events, for man is wont to remember what is most convenient for his worldview. Oh, that is so true. So true. That is why we seek the implicit, for there we are to are most like to find the truth. Yeah, the rewriting of past experiences. Aww! That's so cute. Except we know that it doesn't end happily ever after between them. What is it? The uh, everlasting ceremony? So cute. A truth? Or when I mean, we're only here weeks ago. Don't tell me my memory is that bleeding unreliable. A self-imposed delusion, perhaps? Like I said before, the mind has ways of concealing painful memories. Eternal bonding ceremony. That's what I was talking about. The Manderville storyline. Oh, that's a whole... That's a whole nother thing. <laughs> You're gonna you have to set aside a, a month or so for all of that, I'm sure. Complete and utter chaos. Welcome back. Ah, yeah. Oh, I'm feeling so well. If you'll excuse me. As you can see, these crystals allow us to choose specific points in a person's past to observe at will. Unlike the Echo, however, what we see will not always be as it really was. Yet yeah, there still remains a matter of finding one who has seen the replica weapons and their inscriptions. We have to go find a Garlean and knock him, knock some sense into him. At this present juncture, we might as well be looking for a ghost. Are we actually going to look for a ghost? Is that what you're you're gonna say? After the Garlean invasion of Boja, it was all but cut off from the world. None were allowed in or out, meaning all of its residents and likely any who may have glimpsed the weapons died when the Citadel was destroyed. Oh, but what about the soldiers stationed there who were away at the time of the incident? Ah, uh, even if we could find them, I doubt they could be persuaded to cooperate. Oh, uh oh. Echo sickness? Sid? Oh, we're looking into the future. No, please. Lord Varus, no! We're looking into the future and seeing that Sid was would know the inscriptions, but that that's going to cause him a lot of torment too. You, you saw it too. My visions they, they are not of what has come to pass, but what is yet to be. Oh, her echo looks into the future. That's such a sick skill. Could it be the crystal allowed us to share my vision as well? Mikoto, Jake, are you two all right? Uh, yeah, we just happened to have seen the future of Sid being tortured by his memories. Sid, Sid Garland, son of the monster behind the Meteor Project. I mean, we could at least talk to him. Come to think of it, Yagiri mentioned that the Doma and the Orzean Alliance have been receiving support from Garland Ironworks. I thought that the company should use such a moniker, mere happenstance, but you mean to say that Sid Garland owns this company? Well, he's got a large stake in it, alright? There is someone else who owns a large stake in it, too. The sons of Midas Nun Garland. The son of Midas Nun Garland lives. You got beef with him, eh? I mean, there's a lot of people that have beef with him. He must be summoned at once. If he was at the Citadel prior to its destruction, it's quite possible he may have seen the replicas. Fate is indeed a cruel mistress, pinning our hopes on a Garlean. 
the get of that jerk Midas, no less. Is there truly no other way? Barge Sergeant, please. Very well. I only hope our fallen comrades can forgive us. But he could do some good and help out. And he has changed. He's a, he's a good guy. Please, bring us the Sid Garland. For the people of Boja. For all of Ilsebard. Oh, you don't need to do that. Oh. <laughs> stop, stop, stop. Get up. <laughs> no, that's not necessary. Hi, Miamita. Hey, Seraphay. Echo location. More like Mikoto location. Mikoto? Mikoto, are you all right? It's so cool you can see the future. So did you see us meeting at some point in the future? Our exploration of Master Garland's memories was a success, largely in part to his trust in you, I suspect. And how fortunate for us that you should also be a good acquaintance of Sid's. I'm sure there is much you must do to prepare, so I will not keep you. Was there something else? Well, I mean, how much how much time you got? <laughs> Tell me about your gift. The echo can manifest itself in a myriad ways dependent on the individual. I was gifted with the ability to peer into the future. It is a power much like prophetic dreams and divinations. And yet quite different, for such visions only tell of the future's potential. The echo does not show me what may happen, but what will happen. Oh. So there's there's no there's no getting around any destiny or anything. Scholars speculate Messiah Thousand Eyes too shared this gift, hence the alarming accuracy of the passages writ in her divine chronicles. These visions are a decidedly rare occurrence, usually containing some crucial insight into matters presently unfolding before me. For better or worse, I've never had visions of an impending threat on my life or those around me. Not that I would want to see such things, of course. Could you imagine, knowing of certain doom that cannot be avoided? I once spoke of my visions to an acquaintance, a relatively harmless glimpse of the future, and it resulted in a terrible argument. I fear I could not bear the weight of grimmer tidings. But that is neither here nor there. My gift is but a trivial thing. Nothing you should think to rely upon. Uh, what? No, that's still awesome. Even if even if it's a really big deal. Um, or even if it's like a, a minor thing, you still get to see the future. That's huge. About me? Oh, there really isn't much to tell, I assure you. Well, if you must know, due to some advanced placement, I found myself attending the studio much earlier than most. My research... Why is it that everyone we know attended the studio earlier than most? It's like, well, are we interacting with people who attended the studio normally? I mean, I think Yashtola may have attended the studio at a normal time, but uh, other than that, everyone else seems to be young prodigies. My research in the field of etherology would eventually earn me the title of Archon. While I am not conducting research in the field, I conduct lectures at the studium. When Brita it was my mentor, Aww. I would not be the scholar I am today if not for her. I have fond memories of the many nights we toiled together working on her original plans for the etheric siphon. She was like a sister to me. Speaking of which, I do have a sister, actually. An identical twin, in fact, that we have not spoken since she too was named an Archon. Okay. Mikoto has a twin sister who looks exactly like her. We'll have to keep that in mind. She was my better in all aspects of academia, but she often disagreed with the views of the forum. I can but assume this is why she took her leave of the studium. She was always so strong-willed and quite critical of those around her. Sadly, we never got along very well growing up. I often wonder if that is why Munbrida was so quick to take me under her wing. I still see her in my dreams. Offering a warm smile and words of encouragement. If we were to use the crystal focus, perhaps there'd be a way to speak with her again? A tempting prospect. But in the end, I know it would not truly be her. That is a very tempting prospect, for sure. Um, the ability to, like, revisit dreams of, you know, and people that you've lost and, and haven't been able to um, see in, you know, in your past and everything. Um, either those truly lost to time or just those you haven't seen in a really long time. I can see why that would almost become uh, addictive, is visiting and, and living with, um, or spending time with just your memories. Which, again, it's not really true. It's not really them. It's just your memories of them. So, um, that's crazy. And, and 
we'll have to keep that in mind. But also, I don't think we've ever run into into her sister before. Maybe we have, and I just didn't know it. Um, I was also kind of trying to change the camera angle and see if we can see the Archon. Because she says she's an Archon, and all the Archons have the little tattoo thing, usually on their neck, but not always. So, I do not imagine he sympathizes with our plight, but from what I gather, he has no love for the Empire either. If that will suffice in persuading him to aid us, then so be it. I hear there are engineers stationed at Rogger's Reach. Perhaps you can begin your search for Garland there. Which we can, but I feel really bad because in the vision that we had, he literally was like being tortured. And it's like, no, we don't want to actually get him tortured, so. Depressed, gifted kids. <laughs> the usual. Okay, so is this a quest or not? Yeah, it is a quest. Okay. I was very confused when I saw that. I was like, is that a Chocobo Porter that we missed or something? But no, there's the Chocobo Keep that we did get. Ironworks Engineer, I was looking for you earlier. I was looking everywhere for you, and you weren't here. And now you're here, because I've completed the prerequisite quests. Say, you aren't Jake, are you? Savior of Orosia, Liberator of Alamigo, and so on and so forth. The name's Lilja, newest recruit to the Ironworks. Oh, uh, what can I do for you? Oh, you've got, like, the fancy, um, chromatic dye on your outfit. The chief? Uh, too busy by half, according to Jesse. Between you and me, though, I think it's a loaf of, uh, uh <clears throat> You were gonna say something? Oh, do go on. A load of what? I was gonna say a load off your shoulders. It must be. Knowing the chief is back from whatever it is he's doing. Speaking of whom, Jake said he wanted to speak with him about, um, what was it again? Goodness gracious, Lilja! You might hear better than most, but you're a terrible listener. <laughs> it's the shades. It's, she's more focused on style over substance. Would you mind starting again from the beginning? Okay, well, we need to go torture Sid Garland uh, for the Bosians. Does that sound like a plan? I see. Well, you just missed him. Siriu's wall is uh, due for maintenance, and he had a mind to oversee it personally. That said, any matters concerning you are top priority. I'll see if I can reach him. Hello? I take it this is an average day for you, huh? It must be hard. Always having to put on a brave face as you're thrust into danger. People tugging you this way and that, like some sort of errand boy. Well, Alfino definitely uh, treats us as an errand boy sometimes, for sure. But uh, we don't put on a brave face, we just deal with it. N not that we don't appreciate what you do for us. Goodness knows I do. In fact, well, you see, I'm something of a fan. I knew the Ironworks worked with you on occasion, but I didn't think I'd have the chance to meet you in person. C can I shake your hand? <laughs> like, no. <laughs> Lilja! Sid being back the uh, Sid being back took a load off my shoulders, not yours. Don't you have work to do? Oh, oh right. Work. Uh duty calls, but hopefully we'll meet again soon. You in the shades. <laughs> I bet that interaction would be uh a little bit different if you were a Viera too. Chief says he'll meet you at the Domen Enclave. Not the most convenient of locations, but it'll have to do, I'm afraid. Oh, one more thing. The Boja incident is something of a sore spot for the Chief. Even if it was an accident, most people outside of the Empire remember it as a massacre. The Chief tried to put a stop to his father's experiment, but his pleas fell on deaf ears. Even now, he still blames himself for it all. I should have tried harder, he'd say. I could have saved him. I could have saved all of them. All that genius, and the man can't find a way to forgive himself. I can see it, it would be, like, super hard. So if you're aiming to go digging through his past, be careful. I dread to think what demons he's got locked away in that brain of his. Well, and he probably also makes it even worse on himself, right? Because it's tainted by our own emotions about the situation. And so if his emotions of the situation is a whole lot of guilt, and instead of being in a more positive light, it could end up being reflected in a far more negative light, so... Torture Sid Garland. Got it. I'll assign him more paperwork to complete. Because that's what he really wants. <laughs> Yadana dancing. Liquid Square being too lazy to animate handshakes has taken from us. We could have handshaked the Viera. 
She's tough as Magitek armor plating the way... She's tough as Magitek armor plating when she wants to be. But her heart's in the right place. A shame she's always so busy. As are you, if I'm not mistaken. I won't keep you any longer. Best of luck. Oh, we get options. Uh, let's do... Tenacity. Because we, we tank it. And then we gotta go talk to Sid. The Boja Incident. The chief said he'd be meeting you at the Domen Enclave, didn't he? Well, best not to keep him waiting. To the Domen Enclave we go! We go! I think that Square needs to spend a lot of money and time on is figuring out how to animate uh, rock, paper, scissors between two players. I'm just saying. Rock, paper, scissors is definitely uh, worth it. Oh, look over here, Kyuka, huh? Well, you, you feeling all smug? I took your card away. I actually won a card earlier when I was on trying to figure out the um, quest line. There was somebody, I think in Kugane, that I just randomly walked up to, and I was like, oh, I got a second. Here, let's play one round of cards. Literally played one round of cards, won a card. <laughs> I was like, I'll take it. I'll take it. Okay, who are we supposed to talk to? I don't even know where we're going. I don't even know what's happening. We're over here talking to Sid about the Boja incident. Okay. I think we're going the wrong direction. Bing! Okay, now we're going the right direction. Run, run, run! Well, we could take the Aetherites. Why would we do that when we can exercise our legs? Just over here by the ferry docks. Ask after Sid. Oh, in the Doman Enclave. Oh, we have to ask about him. Did Sid come in here? Is Sid here yet? I was wondering why we're talking to the airship guy. Master Garland? Yes, I've seen him restlessly pacing about the Enclave. If you wait here, I'm sure he'll come by before long. He's probably out playing Triple Triad. Usually the way it goes. Ah, speak of the devil. Oh, hello there. Hello there. It's hard to believe this place was, until recently, occupied by the Garleans. Doma has a long way to go before it regains its former glory, but they're off to a good start. Yeah, we need to go uh, prying through your brain and uh, remind you of all the things you don't want to be reminded of. Sound good? So I've heard. The Bojans wish to follow the Doman's lead. I plan to do what I can to help them. In fact, I've already spoken with Lord Hian and agreed to divert part of the Ironworks resources to assist in Doma's reconstruction. The offer seemed to have taken him by surprise, but I assured him that in addition to the Ironworks commitment to freedom through technology, I have my own reasons to reverse the destruction wrought by the Empire. While it's true that I eventually defected, I played no small part in the development of Magitech now used by their military. Sometimes it's the threads you can't see that have the strongest ties. Would that I could cut them. But you were able to do so much more good with that, even with the negative past, so. The Empire's sins aren't yours to bear. I do like that. That's a good line. Lord Dean thing is good too, but just a reminder. Even so, not a day goes by that I don't think about the part that I played, the atrocities they committed. Uh, it's, it's one of the things where it's like, I'm just going to keep reminding you, and sometimes it takes a whole pile of reminders that it's not your fault, it's okay, it's not your fault, it's okay, you can forgive yourself to make some eventual change in somebody. If I could have made my father see reason, there would have been no Boja incident. But I was powerless to stop him. Some people are uh, just too committed to their train of thought, too committed to their way of life. Yes, you're right. There's a time for wallowing in self-pity and a time for action. I plan to do whatever I can for the Bojan resistance, but they're up against the 4th Legion. If they're going to stand a chance, their allies here in the East won't be enough. They're going to need all the help that they can muster. I'm not entirely sure what part I'll have to play in all this, and I doubt anything I do now will be enough to atone for my past mistakes. But if it means throwing a spanner in the Empire's works, then count me in. 
<laughs> we did. We had a little, a little. It's just not like a, that tap on the chest. We were just like, hey, hey, come on. Hey, it's all good. We're back. Mikoto, we have returned. <laughs> Mirror's running around in the background. <laughs> Hi. What were you doing over there, huh? I saw you sneaking around through those bushes. <laughs> There's Miri. Just waiting for Miri to do the usual Miri thing. Ah! <laughs> running, running through the background. <laughs> you can't catch me. Mikoto, we have returned. Oh, upon speaking of Mikoto, several cutscenes will play in a sequence. Uh, no, we're not going to do it yet because we want to give Miri a hug. Welcome, Ninja Miri. Taking a nap on the ground. All right. Several cut sequences. Let's go. Sequences. Oh, absolutely, Miamita. No, I'm definitely not saying that it is um, anything simple. That's what the good writing in this has given Sid a super deep, complex character because of the past. And technically, it's like I assisted my dad and nation in war crimes, you know, right? Like, for, at least for a while. Narrator. They explained everything to him. He said no and walked away. Bye, Sid. Oh, maybe she's explaining that she saw the the future to him. She was nervous about this. Popcorn time. If you are ready, I will begin our exploration. Think back to your time at the Borgia Citadel. You need to focus on a specific memory, if that helps. All right. Just promise me you'll be careful in there. I mean, crazy as if this was a duty and we had to, like, fight his inner demons. Or maybe we could help him out like that, you know? We can clear out some of those inner demons. Her eyes are so big and blue. I almost forgot that we got to take a thumbnail. There's our thumbnail. What a great thumbnail it is. <laughs> Flashbang thumbnail. That might actually get some clicks if you just, you know, did a, a perfectly white thumbnail. Uh, unable to commence duty as a disciple of the land or hand. Or while in a party. I knew it! I knew it! I'm out of here. I'll be back later. <laughs> Get out of here. You're so slow, Jake. Alright, I'm nervous if I hit escape, it's gonna skip through everything. So we'll just wait and then chop through the, uh, the dialogue. That's like the third time you've done that, Holo. To be fair, though, it didn't specifically say that you're about to do a duty. It just said there's a bunch of, you know, uh, cutscenes in sequence. So. To be fair, I think if, uh, if anyone was like, Hey, uh, I'm going to go mucking around in your brain and your memories. Um, don't think about anything that you don't want to be the thing that we see. That would probably be the first thing that you think about. <laughs> it's kind of usually the... Is, the more you say don't do something, people's brains automatically go there. That's just how they work. Well, then I'll just have to do it solo and you'll just have to wait around for me. Call me Slowpoke. Because I take my time killing the monsters one by one by one. And then I stand around taking pictures. Actually, that's, to be fair, that's probably the thing that slows me down most in new dungeons is uh, taking pictures. Because I'm just like, oh, look at this, look at that. Which would definitely annoy uh, people that I'm with who just want to get it over with. 
Oh, duty commence. We're straight into a duty. Whoa. This is Boja Citadel, all right? At least I think it was. What? Was everything so distorted when you tested this before? Your recollection of this place appears grossly incomplete, but I can assume your memory is warped by your subconscious. I'd rather not stand around laboring over details. Let's look for a transmission tower in the principal. Anything of import would have been stored there. Did you see that? A military base appeared out of thin air. Or out of my mind, I suppose. Did it appear because he mentioned the Principia? Principalia? Prin Princip Principia, I wonder. What in the world? The road just ends. Consequence of your incomplete memories. You have to think back, Sid. Where did this road lead? It all seems so absurd. Recalling the Citadel shouldn't be so difficult. Try recalling the city cityscape. Do you remember where the Imperial troops were heading? Hmm. Usually, like, direction is really good. Is where it's, it's something very specific. Not specifically, no. But they were on edge. Something to do with the Academy's research? This kind of looks like the inside of Omega. Whoa, I didn't realize it's all the whole city down there. That's a huge city. Look at all the roads. I suppose the city doesn't necessarily have to be this big. It could just be his memories that are making it this big. But that's crazy. Yeah, it's so fractured. Okay, try recalling the cityscape. I remember the blue of the cobblestone streets. If not for the occasional military installation, it would have looked like any other city. Wait, I do remember. Is it going to repair? You've done it, Sid. The road has returned. Sort of. I mean, at least a road. We should be able to reach the Principia if we keep heading this direction. Make your way to the transmission tower. Look, there's the transmission tower. Site of the Boja incident. Yeah, but how do we get there? The road is cut off again. Come on, Sid. You have to remember. That was, that was Sid. I was like, what? Sorry, Jake. Try as I might, my mind is drawing a blank. Maybe there's something around here that might jog my memory? All right. Is it this guy over here? Nope, doesn't look to be so. Let's see what we can find. A psychological stimulus to remote recollection. Yes, that might just work. You find a pile of well-worn blades and shields, though not of imperial design. Yeah, I don't know that that would be very helpful. Save for these weapons, there's... Not to be found here. Oh, really? There's nothing else here? Go knocking around. Inside the houses. Whoa, look at this tile. Small stuff like this is just so eerie. Just floating there. Menacingly. Ah, the magic... I, I did walk over here, but I hadn't clicked on yet. Find a smoldering remains of Magitek armor. No doubt left after a fierce battle. Sid, what do you think of these? Weapons and Magitek armor. Right. The fighting had already started, and I was... I was... Well done, Sid. Let's press onward. Whoa, what was that? Oh, it's one of the big ships. It's all starting to come back to me now. The tension in the air is palpable. I'll go back and, and reread what they're saying. I was trying to get a cool picture of all of us running together, so... The soldiers were on high alert that day. The Bojan resistance had infiltrated the Citadel to stop the Academy's experience. You suppose it's possible we can tamper with this memory? A curious question. One I believe worth investigating. Shall we? Oh, okay. Alright, so this is their experiment. 
with can can we mess with um the memories oh there we go you gonna do something to those shooting them Oh, they just rose back up. Oh, I see. The memory appears to be mending itself. Interesting. Altering memories is easier said than done, it seems. Well, let's keep going. Make your way to the transmission tower. It's off to the hole with you. No, please. Anything but that. To the hole... Doesn't sound like a very good place. Do you know the price for insurrection? Oh, is she a Garlean? She does look like she's wearing Garlean clothes. We are here. The Principia. Inside is a transmission tower. Whoa. Ah! What in the seven hells are these? Mikoto, could they be a manifestation of your subconscious? If so, they likely seek to suppress your memories of the Citadel, meaning they intend to purge us from your mind. We cannot let them. Oh, the antibodies. Nice. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Oh, we got more. There's no end to them. We have to hold, lest they succeed in erasing us from Sid's memories. That's so cool. <laughs> Curious, we could defeat these, but not the soldiers earlier. Perhaps because they're not truly a part of the memory? You can worry about that later. Come on, we're nearly at the tower. The antibody, anti memory tampering. Or remembering, really. Because we know that the tampering's not going to be affected, but that's just crazy cool. Just a little further. The whole city is like split and flipping on itself. Very inception-y. Exaflare! <laughs> Sorry. I was mostly like focused on reading the chat and stuff. <gasps> oh. Whoa! We're fighting Bahamut? That shot of the, the tower with the moon? That feels very Endwalkery with the orange moon. Bahamut? This has to be another attempt by your subconscious to stop us. Please, Sid, you have to pull yourself together. Are we sure I'm not suffering from a sudden onset psychosis? Altered Bahamut. You have no choice but to fight. Otherwise, his subconscious will continue to repress his memory. I'm not busy trying to figure out what, uh... <laughs> X oh, jeez. Let's move over here. Sid, you gonna be okay? Oh, that's so sick! We don't need Orwin this time around. 
Oh. It's gonna follow me around? Yeah, 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 yeah. Ugh. Careful, I like not the looks of this. Oh, he's summoning more. Nice. Great. Very good. I got you. I got you. Oh, here we go with the lasers again. Akmorn. Oh, and we got that too. Great. Lovely. Come on. Oh, it's going to spin. Okay, that's fine. Giga Flare. Mikoto, you okay? Yeah, you can you hear stuff. That's definitely worth it. Oh, jeez. Uh oh. Okay, that hurt. Like, when you're avoiding all of his attacks, things are going great. And then as soon as you make one mistake and you get hit, like, a couple times in a row, oh, it just goes from bad to worse real fast. You okay, Sid? Ah, oh, I can't caps hug him. I wanted to hug him. Perhaps your subconscious will be more forthcoming with the truth in this memory? Look, if I have to battle a dozen, uh, a dozen Bahamuts just for Sid, I would do it. Is that... Sid? Do you recall this happening? Or is this what he wished would happen? That's his dad, isn't it? Father was so angry that day. Father, please, if you would just look over this data. Enough! Next time you question me, it shall be the last. Now leave! You of all people should understand the risks. Why do you refuse to see reason? What I'm kind of curious about is, is how is Sid not here? It's rather unlike him to overlook data, no matter the source. Uh, you look here. You, I mean, he left his research book behind. You, he. You pick up the research documents and find page after page of meticulous calculations and observational data on Dalmond. Young Sid posits that the Lesser Moon may very well possess the ability to harness and manipulate solar power. Moreover, the vast stores of energy it has amassed over the millennia, should they be unleashed, would far exceed any parameters this transmission tower may have been designed to withstand. By the goodness, the data. The Empire would invite a calamity. So many sleepless nights sp spent on those papers. All for nothing. If my suspicions are correct, then he was already... Uh, never mind. Let us press on. The truth awaits us. Yeah, like, did they want this to happen? Is that, is that why? Was there some greater secret that they intentionally made this? There they are. The replicas of Gunhilder's blades. All in the little storage containers at the end of the hall, so. Oh, they are cool looking.
bet that's a relic that uh, we could get from somewhere. The Sid from the ARR trailer. Yeah, the Binding Coils was great. Guy is said in the Praetorium speech. Well, I so rarely do the Praetorium. I never remember. <laughs> know your place, well. The Meteor Project cannot, will not be stopped. Certainly not by the likes of you. You're saying Gaius in the Praetorium speech when uh, previous to going down the elevator, right? When he's talking to Sid um, in the little control room. Um, and he's talking about Sid's dad and the Meteor Project and... Um, basically being like, it's so disappointing, Sid, that you of all people would, would defect and leave. Um, but I can't remember specifically him saying something about the Boja incident, like the intention of the, the Boja incident, the goal. Ah, oh, look at him. <laughs> he looks much better with a beard. No, no, this is wrong. Emperor Solus couldn't have been there. His memories, yeah, there you go. His memories are changing things. Whoa. What, whoa, whoa, what? what? What the heck? His memory shot him? No, please, Lord Varus. No. What the heck? Sid, you mustn't forget. This is only a memory. He changed back to his younger... Oh, he's like being... Being overtaken by the memory. What is happening right now? So young Sid was shot. Oh, but the bullet like went and hit old Sid because he was remembering being shot. Sid Garland. Bringer of Ruined, Herald of Ash, your father must be proud. How does it feel to know such calamity follows in your wake, that your failings bring death to all you hold dear? See, he's like shifting back. The younger self disappeared for a moment. We ain't dead yet. As long as Lalaki is there to heal us. In this case, Mikoto can do it. And now you would set this filth against me? Very well. Have we fought Varus before? I don't think so. But one fate awaits those who oppose the will of the Empire. This trauma is too much. He's lost control. But this memory is false, Jake. Perhaps you can alter it with the echo. Because the echo tells us actual truth. Think of your truest friends. Think of your strongest allies. Truest friends. Truest friends always win. Your friends that stand beside you through thick and thin, no matter what. Shot through the heart. I think uh, Varus is to blame. Oh, he's remembering all of the scions. Let's go. Thancred's here too. And they're all in their new Endwalker gear. Are they? No, they might have been in Shadowbringer's gear. That was always your greatest strength. Instilling in others the courage to rise up. The courage to fight for what's right. Yeah, they're, they're Shadowbringer's gear. Okay. Not Endwalker yet. Oh, man. 
<laughs> Did we just get uh, isekai'd into uh, <laughs> Garland's memories? That would be so funny. Da, 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 da. Where is Sid? He's not here. Is he back here? Oh, there he is. He's back there. Okay. You stay safe back there, alright? Sid, we'll come get you after this is over. Mikoto, you and I are the only two real ones in here. Let's do this. Alfino. Yeah, because see, this is pre Sage. Wait, Rain's here too? Oh, what? Sid, you don't even know Rain, but Rain's here as well. Rain, I haven't seen you in forever. That's so awesome. Man, we gotta go back and check in on Rain, see how she's doing. Make sure everything's okay over there. All right. Uh. Varus, let's do this. I think we should get a, a shot real quick. Uh, Yastola. Dun, 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 dun. Yeah! Meteor Project cannot be stopped. I will not allow it. Alright, I'll pay attention to that one. It's a big AoE damage spell. What's behind us? Oh, 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 that's behind us. Okay. Hello. He's focused on Thancred right now. I wonder if we can provoke him. Oh, I see why everyone ran. Ah, oh, Thancred dashing in is so cool. He literally covered all of that. Your struggle shall avail you not. Careful of his blade. Yeah, his blade grew huge. Oh, did we miss our combo? We did. We accidentally hit our combo. That's fine. We got time. We got time. Interesting. I tire of these games. Whoa! He's gonna shoot us in the back! Jake, a little help if it'd be so kind. Oh, time maneuver. Hideous worms, there'll be not left of you but ash. Ready? I don't know what I'm supposed to do, so I'm just gonna click this. I'm gonna click this. I'm gonna click this. Ah! Flashbang! <laughs> I thought to offer you a quick and painless death. Alas, the worms want to continue fighting. You would dash yourself against my shield very well. Let's reprisal that. Ooh, let's move. Ooh, and get out of that. Okay, and then arm's length this. Now Mita taught me that one. Watch out for the X's. X marks the spot. 
spread. Alfino, what are you doing? Ouch. <laughs> Alfino, chase me. Definitely not my fault. Oh, we got him. Empire must not fall. That was sick. That was sick. Okay, can you press things like 1, 2, 3, Q, W, E? to to do the time maneuver uh it didn't seem like it was doing much of the the button pressing so i switched to clicking because i wasn't actually sure um but that's something that <laughs> i definitely was confused by this isn't right either emperor lord Barlas, he wasn't there the academy was given full charge of the project the academy so these events are as you remember them this is not the truth. That these events are as you remember them. This is not the truth. Not entirely. Whoever this is, your mind has been trying to protect you from them. Was it his dad? See, we're back to... Varus with the gun. Oh, we're rewinding time. That whole sequence where he shot past and shot Sid, I was like, what the heck is happening right now? It is Yashtola's dad! We found him after all this time! The white hair? That makes way more sense. Well, if it isn't Varus, then who is it? Who could I possibly have to hide from myself? You stole his dad. Wow, he's got an ugly face. Definitely needed a beard for that. So it was you who pulled the trigger, father. Sid, look, his eyes. Is he tempered? What is... what? No, it can't be. Tempered by Bahamut, maybe? Or tempered by... If contact with Dalmond was able to stir Bahamut to consciousness, it stands to reason the Dreadworm discovered a way to link to the tower and thereby enslave your father. Oh, Dalmond was the one who may have caused it. If contact with Dalmond was able to stir Bahamut to consciousness, it stands to reason the Dreadworm discovered a way to link to the tower and thereby enslave your father. In which case there was nothing that could be done for him. There is no arguing or reasoning with such individuals. There is only the will of the primal. And if Bahamut was controlling your father at the time of the accident... It wasn't an accident. Then in all likelihood, it wasn't an accident. Was this Bahamut's, like, first step in trying to free himself? And so the truth finally comes to light. That's true. Bahamut did temper Louis Swa and a couple other people. Nail.
Bahamut's one of the most powerful primals because of all the imprisoning dragon worshippers and Bahamut tempered Nail into doing the seventh umbral calamity. He controlled Nail and others like Midas in an effort to bring down Dalmond. Right, because it was basically he wanted to, he was trying to free himself to then bring destruction uh, on the the whole planet. And so I don't know that the, the tempering with the tower specifically was Bahamut's thrall and no one was the wiser. Not even your own son. I'm I'm wondering if the the tower was directly involved in the eventual release of Bahamut, or if it was just kind of step one of being able to control people and being able to do things. Because I don't remember a direct connection between the Boja incident with this the transmission tower and Dalmond the prison being destroyed. Um, but maybe i'm i'm wrong on that and it was like the tower had to be destroyed for dalmond to then be destroyed so that bahamut could escape that's the necklace he's always wearing so you did it once Mikoto described the inscriptions to me, I'll have the weapons forged in no time. Hopefully her memory's really good. We did take a screenshot just in case, though. On behalf of the Bojan Resistance, you have my deepest thanks. Which has got to be a little tough for him to say, especially considering that it's Sid, of all people. I'm just glad that I could help. Ever since that fateful day, the truth of what befell our loved ones had eluded us. I held the Empire and your father responsible for their part in the tragedy, and for many years the hatred was all that kept me going. Indeed, I was blinded by that hatred, so much so that even you... So much so that even you appeared to me as an enemy. I could not see the blood, sweat, and tears you have poured into bettering the lives of those seeking freedom from the Empire. I could only see a guardian, and for that I am sorry. If you can forgive me, let us be allies, united against a common foe. Come now, I'm the one who should be apologizing to you. After all, my father and the Empire did, even not, even if not all their own volition, their crimes would never be forgotten. After all my father and the Empire did, even if not of their own volition, their crimes will never be forgotten. At hazard, even victory over the Empire won't be enough to ease such pain. And even now that I know the truth behind the Boja incident, all it's done is make me question the choices that led me here to this moment. Are you a Bahamut thrall? What? Have you been tempered this whole time? But regardless of the past, we have to keep pressing forward, one step at a time, for freedom, for justice, and for pancakes, just as the heroes of Eldwood have done. We Bojans grew up on such tales of peerless warriors, pure of heart and unwavering in their conviction. Yet, here we are, so full of doubt and uncertainty. Will we ever earn our place in the pages of history? One step at a time. Cheer up, Barsharabra. Baj Sarjan, if we live long enough, perhaps we'll be the ones to pen them. I mean, supposedly in an alternate universe, Ironworks goes on to be like crazy legends of time travel. So, you know. So at 1.0 in the original fight with Nail, you were stopping her from constructing a tower designed to guide Dalmond down to crash. The Boja incident is revealed to have been the way Bahamut succeeded in that goal after being stopped previously. So at 1.0, the fight with Nail, you were stopping her from creating a tower designed to bring the moon crashing down onto the planet. The incident is revealed to have been the way the Bahamut succeeded. I'm missing the line there in that goal after having this up previously. Boja incident was a failed attempt to connect to Dalmond and it only destroyed the capital completely and pretty much killed everyone there instantly. I'm not sure I'm follow whole of the, the way Bahamut succeeded in that goal considering that it didn't guide Dalmond down to the planet to crash into the planet, but 
yeah it definitely was a, a failed attempt because they had they had no clue what they well they had an idea of what they were doing um but again when some of the people were tempered it didn't matter Nail's second attempt worked even though in 1.0 i think you defeat nail oh 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 Okay. You say the crystal focus is no longer responsive. It would appear what stores of ether resided within it have been depleted. I did not expect our exploration of your mind to be such a taxing endeavor. Once I identify its etheric affinity and a power source with a compliant energy frequency, I am confident its reserves can be replenished. I thought perhaps the Alliance could use it to extract information from some of their less cooperative Garlean captives, but nothing's ever that easy, is it? Well, that's kind of torturous, just a little bit. I'm afraid theology is beyond the scope of my expertise, so I'll leave the rest of it to you. If you need anything, don't hesitate to call for me. Thank you for all your help, Master Sid. Well, I better head back. I have a mountain of work waiting for me. I'm sure it's all paperwork. And try not to get shot this time. Before you go... I... Are you Sid's daughter? What? If you ever feel lost, you can always talk to me. Of course. If I run into any ether-related problems, you'll be the first to know. Oh, he kind of rejected her offer. She was kind of offering her hand in friendship, and he was just like, well, I'll only call if it's ether-related. Right, uh, I must really work on that focus. Aww. She was offering a hand of friendship. Yeah, right? You oblivious fool. Sid, ya goof. Ya goof. You had a chance, and you threw it away. I mean, not not that I mind, but, you know. Just, just saying. Just saying, you had a chance. Everything is at last in place to begin work on the weapons of Queen Gunhilder's guard. Master Geralt will be able to apprise you of any further progress in their forging. In the meantime, we will begin preparations for battle. I look forward to seeing you on the front lines. <laughs> Attuning to all Ethernet shards in the Dome and Enclave will now unlock Gangos as an Ethernet destination. Oh, we should have that then, because I think we've already unlocked all of them in the Dome and Enclave. Meanwhile, at the Valnain in Dalmasca. At Valnain in Dalmasca. Whoa! New location. We're cleaning up the scraps before going back to uh, the main tower. Our spies at the Gangos encampment have confirmed work on the blades. Our spies at the Gangos encampment have confirmed work on the blades of Gunhilder is underway. Do they want that to happen? Huh. They are welcome to them. Who has need of such trinkets when the Lady of Blades will soon be in play? When the Lady of Blades will soon be in play. We will proceed as planned. When their forces reach Boja, you know what must be done. Understood. Oh, I didn't get the name Menios or something. The Empire is fated to fall. But in its place, a new nation shall rise. Grander and mightier than anything the Garleans could ever have dreamed. Noah Van Gabranth. And it shall be made possible by the very power they abhor. Oh, are they going to use primals as their way to build a new empire? What the heck is going on with that? On the edge of memory. Save the queen. Chapter the first.
I couldn't hide the text. I was trying to get a picture of just the the mural. That's crazy. Now we have a whole new island to hang out with. Lost finds cash, some shops, some traders. Got a whole place. And we got Caius running around like a fool. Can I get on top of here? I don't think I can. Can we, can we actually summon a mount? Oh, we can't summon a mount in this location. Okay. All right, so now that we've done Hail to the Queen and the Path to the Past, we got to do where Eagle's, Eagle's Nest, Forge in the Fire, Wandering Dramaturg, Neither of those. Oh, including the optional side quest, the Boja Incident, and Fire in the Forge. You gotta do Fire in the Forge next. Okay. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Hang on. Unable to join party. Alright, there we go. I just cancelled out of it. I was like, I have no idea what's happening right now. Let me try this again. You're here! Good! Ready to get working on the resistance weapons, lad. Please note that upon completing the quest fire in the forge, you will receive a resistance weapon for a paladin. Uh, sure. I wouldn't mind doing it for a gunblade too, but we don't, we're not level 80. Let's do it. Let's do it. Whatever this is. You like the name? Resistance weapon? It crossed my mind as I was calling them Gunderhild's blades, but after talking with... Miss Isha, we figured it'd be too confusing, seeing as that's also the name of our queen's guard. Any road, your timing could have been better. Before we get working in earnest, I was hoping you could tell me a bit more about what went on in Sid's noggin. I've heard a fair bit from Mikoto, but I'd like to know if you saw anything different. Well, it should be about the same. Ugh. Sounds like I was right to ask you before setting to work. Seems to me those fancy markings in the weapons are mainly for show. I can copy them, I, but that won't be enough. Like as not, they were carved into the hilts as well. And to make sure their spell can take hold, you need a finish with fine powder what's conductive to ether. For a material like that, I reckon you'll need to consult the alchemists of Razatan. And I can only think of one person with close contracts there. Rowena? <laughs> oh no, you don't mean Rowena. Aye, the demoness a coin. But not to worry, lad. Just so happens she's been keeping up a steady shipment of supplies here on contract. If we say we need the powder for the resistance, might as well we can convince her to waive the costs. Does she like the resistance? She ain't usually one for business for... She ain't usually one to do business for charity, I know. But it's worth a try, eh? I'll see about getting in touch with her. And after I do, you can go and meet up and figure out the rest. If you say so. Well, you don't expect me to go and meet with her, do you? Working on the resistance weapons kept me too busy by half. And Drake here, uh, I mean, uh, uh, what was your name again? Who's he talking to? Oh, this guy right here. Zlatan. Zlatan, Master Girls. My name is Zlatan. But more importantly, what if Mr. Rowena doesn't agree to a charitable contribution to our cause? I'm sure that if you're... An... Bahar, yeah. I'm sure if you and Baharjan ask nicely, she might come around. But never mind that. We have important work to do. As for where to find Rana, before she left Gangos, she said she'd be stopping over in Kugane on business. How about I have her meet you at the Yumineko Tea House? If we're lucky, a nice cup of tea will brighten her mood. More fetch quests. Resistance weapon. Okay. I didn't realize we were getting gear out of this. This is awesome. Wait for Rowena at the tea house. We're going to have to pay a fortune just jumping back and forth. That's for sure. Jake's first relic quest? Wait, hold on a moment. I thought I was doing relic quests when I was... um. Doing... Oh my gosh. Don't even look at this. This is a mess. This here. The Kirtana Zenith. Isn't that a relic weapon for the ARR relic weapon? Yeah, one of the fabled relic weapons. 
I, I got this to like the second tier, I think. And then I, I stopped. I didn't continue. Because I had to go, I had to like take it and go beat up a bunch of things. Speaking of which, actually, we're not even going to be able to put stuff in here unless I remove things. Um, let me pull out some stuff. I'll do some Dark Knight arms, even though all this stuff is so cool. Half of this stuff I do need to hang on to for doing a Shadowbringers video. We'll keep the Flame Kists Urachi. The books? What's with the books? What's going on with books? Do you actually have to read books or something? I was wondering when you'd show up. Geralt told me everything. Hi, Rowena. And luckily for you, my business here was at the Thavnerian Consulate. So she actually is referring to Thavnir, even though we only recently went there. It's at the Thavnerian Consulate. Here you are. This should be enough powder for one of those resistance weapons you're foraging. So we only need... We only are asking for enough powder for one. We don't need more than one weapon. I've got to hand it to Geralt. Seems he spends half his time getting deeper in debt, and the other half avoiding payment. Fine by me, though. Thanks to his scheming, I've got a little more leverage over the resistance, and, by extension, him as well. It's always good to be able to call in favors. Pass along a message to Geralt and Bash Saljan for me, will you? If they require more material for these weapons, I'd be more than happy to supply them. For a fee, of course. Same goes for you. I know you adventure in types are always looking to be prepared for any sort of encounter. So if you're thinking of forging another one of these resistance weapons, and I suspect you are, you know where to go. I've got to go see my girls in Reverence Toll in Idleshire to keep their shelves stocked. Until next time. I'll see to it, my girls and Revenant's Toll and Idol Shower. Keep the shelves stocked. Yeah, we definitely have visited um, both of those shops before. Um, not that we were able to buy all that much from them because we, we aren't on those Relic Quests things, but that's cool. All right, there was a question. When are you going to make the sword glowy? <laughs> no. No, that's so much time. So much time. I didn't mind the fetch questing too badly. It was the... Um, all right, hold on. We should be able to hop directly back there, right? I think there was something about... If we went to... The Dome and Enclave, we can hop directly there. There's Lalaki with shiny relic weapons. Everyone's putting out all their relics gear, relic gears. I don't even know what Alo Alo is. Just because we only got to Thavnir and Endwalker, other people could travel to it before then. That's true. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just interesting how there's kind of a correlation to them being able to kind of talk to each other. You know, I've had enough materials to complete a Boja Relic right now, but I'm going to do them all in one shot when I have enough. 87 more Deliberum. All the Paladin Relics. Recommend getting one done, but getting all the other... Well, what if you... Uh... Gangos. So, what if you... Get this free weapon, right? And then you just make an ult. Do the whole same thing all over again. Get a free weapon for a different, you know, class. And then just give the weapon from, from one character to another, right? Can't you just, you know, trade Relic weapons between characters? Should be so easy, so. <laughs> the weapon's nearly finished, Jake. Just needs a nice coating with that powder to finish the inscription. Fine powder blended in the Near Eastern Island nation of Razathan, designed to promote ethereal conductivity. What do you mean they're non transferable? That's so silly. Of course, she bloody found what we need. As much as I hate fattening her purse with another man's coin, at least now we can do our part for the resistance. Except you're making me a weapon, not the resistance. 
Not that I mind getting a free weapon out of it. But maybe he's making a, them a weapon, and then I just get extra material. You know, from the extra material, I get something. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> I know that sound. Now, Mita, don't ask about the accents, all right? Oh, and we got the shield, too? Definitely worth it. Feast your eyes on some of the finest work to date. Best of all, the inscriptions will react to your ether. A right fine sword and shield to rally the Bosians. Honor bound and tenacity. I reckon Gunderhill will be proud. Honor bound and tenacity. Oh, that's the one with the big silver thing in the center. That I should behold the glory of the fabled blades born anew. Hope is not yet lost. All the days work for your old pal Geralt. Of course, this is only the beginning. Your skills with a hammer were truly a sight to behold, Master Geralt. And to see Jake wield on one of their holy blades thus, it is as if I stand before one of the heroes of Eld. When the time comes to do battle with the Empire, our brothers in arms will look upon you in no courage. On behalf of the Bojan Resistance, I offer you my humblest thanks for your aid thus far. I mean, we got free gear out of it, so I'm, I'm not gonna, you know be too shabby about it. I'd love to start fresh on another weapon, but I had to use every last morsel of powder on that one. Meaning we would find ourselves indebted further to Mistress Rowena were we to acquire more. I must consult Baj Sargen before we proceed further. Looks like we're taking a short break then, eh? If you find yourself wanting for another weapon, though, come and speak with the helper here. I feel like we should have done the, the gun blade just to, to do it right, even though we weren't the level. We have to go level gun blade a whole lot before we got to it, but that'd be so cool. I think I've earned myself a nice big flag and ale tonight to uh, celebrate the forging, of course. Any excuse to drink. There we go. Honor bound and tenacity. Technically a worse sword than what we currently have, but that's okay. It's the style. It's the style we count, so. First step for the first weapon was free. Good luck with the rest. Please ensure you've changed your desired job before speaking with Zatlan. Furthermore, Thavnerian scale powder cannot be purchased from Ariana at Revenant's Toll or Hisamena at Idleshire. I'm sure it's going to be, like, super cheap. Like, three gil per powder, right? That's it. Three gil per powder. Oh, we're not even we're wielding them at the moment. <laughs> we don't even have them on. We don't have them. All right, we'll equip them for now. Because this one with the giant, giant garlean stone in the middle of it, it does look pretty cool. And I, I think that the the sword itself is slick. It's got like just a hint of blue. Maybe it's time that we shift up our our black and red style to uh, to blue. Though I don't think you can dye these things, right? None of the the relics are dyeable. They're all just uh, style. They have their own their own style, and that's it. You don't get to, to duplicate it. Okay, so Zlatan, you would talk to to then switch up and try to get some different gear. I love the the buckets of scrap. Can we just take some of the scrap with us to go? That'd be cool. <gasps> yeah, Miri, let's go. Are you doing the same one for the first time too? Every second step is diable? Oh, really? Oh, you finished? Oh, okay. I wondered if uh, if finishing makes them glowy or not, and how that works, so. Not diable yet. This step is just tomes, a thousand tomes. Ah, oh, that's super simple. I'm sure there definitely couldn't be anything worse than just that. Definitely not anything worse than that. All right, Marsak. I have a fancy sword. Good to see you, my friend. Though it came at great cost, I am pleased to say Master Geralt has succeeded in reforging the weapons of Gunderhill's blades. Indeed, the Queen's illustrious guard has at last been reborn. When the deed was done, word quickly spread to every faction in the Bojan resistance. As we had hoped, it has reaffirmed the resolve to press on and see our home return to its former glory. In fact, our troops have already reclaimed... Utia's Aegis, an outpost in the Bojan Southern Front, 
When you are ready, I would ask that you make for the front line to so better assess the situation for yourself. Sierros can show you the way. Oh, cool. We're just going straight there. Sierros, look at my cool sword and shield. If I shield bash someone with the center of this thing, they're going to get a dent in their forehead so big. Ah, Blade Kelton? Oh, that feels good. Blade Kelton. I didn't know that you got a title out of this. That's it. We're, we're changing our character's first name to Blade Kelton. Blade Kelton. I've been expecting you. If you come with me. Yeah, I feel like 10 times the boss now. All right, whoa, 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 whoa. Duty overview. The rules of engagement on the Bojan Southern Front are different than what you will have encountered before. The following pages contain a detailed explanation of what you may expect on the battlefield. Read and understand them well if you wish to gain the upper hand over the Empire's 4th Legion. Level sync. Though it is possible to join the Bojan Southern Front beginning at level 71, all players will be synced to level 80 while in the duty. Item level will also be synced accordingly. All job actions unlocked through level 80 will also be available when in the duty. Well, we're level 80, so it doesn't really matter. All players are subject to a separate leveling system on the front, indicated by their resistance rank. Performing admirably in large-scale battles, such as skirmishes and critical engagements, will increase your metal akin to experience points. Simply defeating imperial troops and beasts is not enough to prove your metal. You must participate in successful military operations. If you demonstrate sufficient metal upon reporting to the resistance commander, your resistance rank will climb. One of those higher ranks will gain more access to more areas of the front, as well as additional quests. Your rank will not increase unless authorized by the commander, so don't forget to report for inspection. Upon successful completion of military operation, you will gain regular experience points in addition to metal. This experience will be applied to your job level as normal, so it's recommended that you consider using a job that has not yet reached level 80 to take advantage of the experience points gained. More information is available from Sierros and Gengos and your resistance comrades at the Southern Front, so don't hesitate to converse with them. Understand what I must do. Okay, well, look, this is, then do we switch to Gunblade? Even though we didn't get the, the Gunblade weapon? Stressed soldier. Uh, because any 71 job, right? I think? No, 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 no. Hang on. Gunbreaker. Oh, Gunbreaker's only 66. We're actually super close. Technically, we could do it as a Samurai. Level 71. And we can't glamour plate here. I'm really tempted to do it as a samurai now. Just because, you know, it is 71. Even though we don't have the fancy new sword. Um, let me switch back to paladin. Hmm. I don't know, what do y'all think? Samurai or paladin? I think we would talk to Sierros and go in. Probably do Samurai for the experience. Though we will get new um, jobs, whatever you want to experience on, you can still work on the Paladin Relic. Oh, so you can work on the Paladin Relic while doing Samurai, which you can also switch in there. Um, man, I'm really salty now that we don't have the other one. Yeah, we're 71 Samurai. Let's try it with Samurai at least once. But uh, I haven't done Samurai in a hot minute, so I'm sure I'm going to make a mess out of it. And even worse than that, um, we're probably... Um, there's going to be a bunch of new like skills that I have no idea what they do. Because actions and traits. We're going to jump up to 80 on this. So we have Isatsu Gurun. There's an attack to all enemies in a straight line. The potency of 500 for the first and less with the rest. Shares a recast timer with Gurun. So it's a kind of an upgrade to that. Oh, okay. So it's the same kind of thing. These are just upgrades to the same skills that we have. These here. But I think these are the upgrades to them. Maybe. Level 80. Delivers an attack with a potency of 560. Can only be executed after accumulation of three stacks. Okay. Well, I'm sure we're going to make a mess out of it. But we can try it anyway. So there's a training dummy in there. Okay. That's good to know. If you have a thousand poetic tomes, do that step to unlock getting currency for the next one. Uh, what is our currency rate at the moment? Yeah, we got a thousand eight hundred. Should we do, go to that first then? Go talk to go talk to Nidalshire. 
isn't that what we, we would need to do is um, to get the next upgrade, go and buy more powder or something? Powder is the first step to getting the weapon. Yeah, Thaddarian scale powder from a Okay, yeah, double checking though. The Thaddarian scale powder um so to go and buy four of them and what you're saying though is that that's an upgrade or is that to start a new weapon? Start a new. Okay. What is it to to uh Okay, so I technically could go and start a relic weapon for samurai, I think is what you're saying. Um, but we can level up the paladin one too, which is what we really are wanting to focus on. So maybe what we do is we, 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 we'll just focus on leveling up the paladin one. It won't affect your progress either way. Need to be level 80 to start the samurai weapon. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Cool. Then we'll just run it as Samurai, and we'll make a mess, and it'll be fine. I mean, that's usually what we do anyway. <laughs> the Bojan Southern Front. Oh, this is so exciting. Man, look at everybody. So many of you are tanks. I'm the only DPS? Oh, no. <laughs> Y'all are going to have to do a lot of work to keep me alive. But you are sages? Yeah, we got all sorts of sages. You can switch inside the duty. What? This duty is definitely unlike any other duty we've done. Definitely unlike any other duty. This is the Call of Duty in Final Fantasy XIV. Maybe we should be Samurai then, so... Yeah, if Samurai gets too crazy and too hectic, we'll switch over to, to Paladin. That's our that's our bread and butter comfort. Miss Reaper. Lesia. I came up with a, a name for a character for a short story that um, I was kind of developing and maybe it'll turn to something longer, but I wanted to hear what y'all's thoughts were. Um, she's a, a young female character that was kind of given a um, scientific code name, M1N0, but uh, she ends up when other people, it's kind of like an R2-D2 situation, was that like, M1N0, if you just read it as like M I N O, it's Minnow. And I was like, I really like Minnow. Minnow's really cute. Like for for a, a young uh, female character that has special psychic powers, um, I thought that, that Minnow was a fun name. Especially for a, for a sci fi world. Whoa! That's the first time we've seen something that looks like that. The Bojan Southern Front. Look at those things. Oh, I accidentally hit things again. All right. Resistance rank one, metal, next rank 300, 200 clusters, notoriety. No idea what any of that means. Here, we'll put it up here in the top right-hand corner for now. Chevy in the corner. I'm so sad. No. Okay, so we can switch over. Yeah, there you go. Paladin. And back to Samurai. Oh, that's cool. Thank you for the warm welcome. Merchant and Mender. Actually, that's a good thing. We should probably check our, our mending. I think we're fine, though. Uh, Holo did some serious uh, repairing recently. And so I don't think we have anything... Yeah, this is all old stuff that I never got around to repairing. Repair it anyway. Nothing that we're wearing currently. Alright. Let's eat some bread. Baj Sajan. I assume this is the person we're supposed to talk to. I don't actually know. <laughs> I just jumped in and started talking. I'm very bright. I'm so bright. Biscuit. Maybe knocked over. 
See if that's a little better. Definitely don't need any more lights on me. I'm shining like a star. Shine bright like a diamond. I'm glad that you could join us. Blade Kelton works even better when we're samurai. And not a moment too soon. Oh, look at them with their relic weapons. There's a relic paladin. <gasps> Ooh, the Dark Knight relic looks good, too. Allow me to introduce to you Gunderhill's Blades. Gun that's the wrong name. <laughs> Gunhilder's Blades. She's cute. I like the hat. High Mage Zevin, Master of Flames. The fury of his art rivals even the fiercest hells. Isolde, the Eagle Eye. In brightest day and in darkest night, no enemy will escape her sight. A soul day. Uh, very Green Lantern. Stanek, the unwavering blade of Boja. The foes dashed against his shield are beyond counting. Are oh, you not going to introduce the Dark Knight? Oh, okay, all right, sure. Oh, there we go. It's going to introduce the whole rest of the crew. Villabor, the baleful blade. His unbridled fury can fell entire cadres with a single stroke. Probably the warrior. Aji, the Iron Fist of Boja, a young prodigy whose martial skills put even the most seasoned veterans to shame. The monk. Blaze, the merciful blade. No foe, however terrible, will dissuade his blade from fighting its mark. The merciful blade? Oh, like we're going to put, uh, put you out of your misery. It's a merciful blade. Yeah, that's cool. I see them teasing the gear for sure. Rest assured, this is not the guard in its entirety. A number have already taken to the field and would benefit greatly from your presence, if you are willing. That's why we're here. With Gunhilder's blades and the Warrior of Light leading the charge, it is only a matter of time before Castrum Lacus Litor is ours. Speaking of which, I believe you have yet to see the Castrum. If you'll follow me, I'll show you the object of our struggle here on the southern front. Stanek, Aji, are you agitated, Aji? An honor to meet you, sir. Never in my wildest dreams did I think I'd be chosen for such a duty, but I won't let you down. Promise. Pleased to meet you, Blade Kelton. When the battle is joined, rest assured, Gunhilder's blades will be at your back. And so will my arrows be in your back. <laughs> Blade Kelton, it is an honor and privilege to make your acquaintance. Very much look forward to fighting by your side in the days to come. All right. Uh, resistance secretarius? Secretariat. Resistance secretariat. Probably don't need to talk to them. We need to go up the hill. But how to get up the hill? This way. Hi-ya! Oh, what? Oh, we apparently can't do that. Music is good. What are all these buffs? Ray of Fortitude. Resistance honors are granting an increase to maximum HP. Ray of Valor. Increased damage dealt. What? That's crazy. All these buffs y'all are getting. There it is. Castrum Lecos Lator. Used to, to use the Garlean moniker. Lector. What's that glowing thing to the side? Its true name is Elermuk, which means eagle in Bojan, as they too once made their home in these mountains. To our people, they are a symbol of strength and good fortune, both of which were sorely needed when the Empire first invaded. We needn't dwell on the past failings. Now we have a chance to reclaim what is rightfully ours, to remind the people what it is we stand to gain. I have chosen to call this initiative Operation Eagle's Nest. Like the great eagle, we must strike hard and swift. And with you at our side, I have no doubt that we shall see this through to a glorious end. Oh, cool. You can see actually see the, their flying ships kind of parked and, and maybe fueling or powering up. But before you rush into battle, I believe Mikoto wished to discuss the crystal focus with you. Good tidings, perhaps? I mean, any chance to talk to Mikoto is one that I will take. There she is. I didn't realize she was here on the field. Did we miss her when I was running around? 
Is there a tower even here? I have to go climb up to the top again, take another look. Hi, Mikoto! Ah, Jake. I have rather exciting news to share. As you may recall, the energies of the Crystal Focus were spent on our exploration of Sid's memories. After careful analysis, we have concluded that it can, in fact, absorb ether in a similar fashion to the aura site we discovered in Ivalice. This assumes, of course, we have a suitable source of energy matching its ethereal frequency. So, what frequency is that? And therein lies the problem. Crystals bearing such a specific ethereal signature are quite rare. We could never hope to amass the quantities needed. Were we to locate an ether current of the correct frequency, however, charging the focus would only would be a matter of course. Unfortunately, such currents exist only in regions of Boja rife with Imperials. So that's where we gotta take the crystal focus in and charge it up. Mikoto wished to wait until the fighting died down, but as I explained to her before, time is a luxury we can ill afford. Do you need me to do something for you? I'm sure you can understand better than anyone that the bloodshed will only cease when a victor is decided, the death toll climbing ever higher on both sides. The horrors of this war weigh heavy on the hearts of our people. A burden which could be eased were we to employ the crystal focus, healing wounds not of the flesh but of the mind. Plans to locate an ether current are well underway, but I suspect your help would see them expedited. Might we ask for your assistance in this endeavor? Uh, what am I looking for? Do I need special goggles? Press for time as we are. Sid has already begun working on monitoring device to locate a sufficient source of ether. I would join him and see the final preparations. In the meanwhile, I would ask the two of you to investigate a location I believe to be near an ether current. Who's going with us? Marsak! Sorry for interrupting, but a few of our soldiers wish to have a quick word before you depart. I expect their intelligence will prove useful when you're in the field. I guess she's coming with us when we inspect the, the current. Mikoto's too, uh, too valuable. <laughs> Holo's over there, creeping on the stalks. <laughs> what are you doing sneaking the, out of the crates over there, huh? Resistance supplier has the Boja gear. Thank her was wearing a Garlemald. Oh, nice. I appreciate your willingness to help, but must you always place yourself in such peril? I'm sorry. I understand you only do what must be done. We all have our roles to play, and I promise to fulfill mine as best I can. Stay safe out there, won't you? I will do the best that I can. Oh, man. We got 900 experience. That is so much. We, we, we are we are flush with experience after that, for sure. She's so precious. I realize there's little I can offer the resistance beyond the realm of research and study, but I do have some skill in the healing arts. I pray it will be enough to help with their medics. Is there something you wish to discuss? No, uh, but learning about their, um, or her future seeing relic is crazy cool. Forgotten fragment of skill. What? Heck is this? A single unidentified memory of the lost. Resistance rank required. For, I got I got more of that. I guess people in the party are off going and, and attacking stuff and we're not there yet. Yeah, they're off doing doing stuff. We'll get out there eventually. Uh we'll join you in a second. So look at the landscape. The big blue crater over there. That's cool looking. Man, building stuff like that in Minecraft would be crazy awesome. This is definitely like World War II with the trenches and the sandbags and the posts and everything. But I want to know what that thing up there is. That big yellow thing. The wave. It's like a bridge. Gotta figure out so that. What do you think caused the crater? Is that where one of the Hamet's uh, keys fell? Whoa. Oh, fell down too far. This <laughs> is your mom joke. <laughs> oh my gosh. Nah, she's not even here. She's gonna fall in there. 
Oh, this other friend is the site of the Boja incident. Oh, that's the tower. That's the where the tower exploded, isn't it? The giant blue, like, ether explosion. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's awesome. We stand in the destructive remains of this city, wiped clean from the face of the star. Very poetically stated. 50,000 people used to live here, and now it's a ghost town. Well, it's, it's ghost landscape. There isn't even anything left. It's literally been scrubbed flat. I don't think we need to talk to the historian, though. Blade Kelton, a moment if you would. I serve as a war historian for the Boshan Resistance, and Marsak tells me you may be able to help with my work. I needn't tell you how the atrocities of war can wear on a soldier. As such, it has become increasingly difficult to find one of sound mind and body who can accurately recount their experiences on the battlefield. For a hardened warrior such as yourself, I suspect keeping an account of the foes you face should prove a rather trifling task. I'll do my best. That's not to say I expect a detailed record of your every interaction, mind. If you should trade blows with any notable figures, however, I would hear of it. All information gathered from the Battle of Boja will ultimately be compiled within my field records. Here, you may use this to take note of any memorable encounters in the field. In the middle of fighting. Uh, hold on a moment, I gotta take, I take, what's your name? What's your name? Can I write that down? I realize the burden this places on you, which is why I will see to it personally that you are duly compensated for your efforts. That is like Thancred's outfit, but green. Upon completion of certain quests, skirmishes, or critical engagements, you will obtain a sheaf of notes that can then be handed in to add entries to the field record. Various rewards. Okay. A parting word of advice, if I may. While there's no telling what you will face in the southern front, Dimitar over there may be able to assist you in finding worthwhile battles in our field record. Well, definitely not the person that we were supposed to be talking to, but that's okay. Hello, pink kitty. Do you uh, dye your fur that color? Or does it come natural, huh? Huh? <laughs> uh, we got one of 200 crystal or clusters. Nice. Oh, we didn't even talk to the other person we were supposed to talk to. That's fine. Hi, everybody. Thank you for waving me on. Is our inventory just going to fill up with all this stuff super fast? Probably. Probably need to empty it before we go do stuff. All right, lead the way, Lalaki. Where are we supposed to go? Yeah, we definitely should have emptied our inventory. <laughs> <laughs> so we just go find things to fight, huh? Oh, we can't fly here, can we? Kill Magitek. Oh, it's like the Death Claw. Skirmish joined. Oh, okay, cool. I see. I see. Uh. Why can't I focus on anybody here? <laughs> there we go. Uh oh. Uh, six. Five, three, control six.
Okay, I'm getting the hang of samurai back down again. There we go, metal 200. I see. We got another Boja Cluster. And so you basically just keep doing these until you can go back and rank up. Uh-oh. That's that up. Okay. Okay. So that's the the uh, grinding uh, when you were saying that you got to level up a different ranking system. So These spawn special counters. Okay, I haven't even looked at the map yet. Yeah, let's keep going. Uh, we did not attuned to the aether shard so i'm gonna have to run back there <laughs> that's all right yeah let's go to this let's go to this fate oh return works in here oh my gosh Ooh. Ow. Uh. Ow, everything died. <laughs> Skirmish one, we got another crystal. Oh, you can get tomes from this too. Okay, that's cool. 200 metal. All right, great. Well, we can return. Oh, oh, wait, no, hop on. Uh, C2. C3. Why can't I hop on? C1. There we go. Oh, we're on one of the heads. <laughs> That's cool. <gasps> ah, and you're just standing there. Go! <laughs> go, my three-headed doggy. Yeah, for some reason it wasn't letting me pick a ride, but I think it's because I had just recently been either in combat or was trying to mount. <laughs> to my knights! Let's go! Oh, there is a fate on the way back, so I guess we could hit this one. Let's do it. Oh no, we need four, and then we need five, and then we need six. And then we need control seven and three and five and six and then control six for the big AOE. Oh no, that's not the AOE. That's just a big. Um... Oh 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 oh! There we go. Get out! Get out! <sighs> We actually have a different thing that we need to do for the AoE. Um, that's just a two, right? Because the, the AoE... There's our AoE. Shing! Go Ice Blade. Man, retargeting always just feels so not good <laughs> as a damage dealer. You're just like, man, why do I have to keep fighting the target again? I just want to hit things. Whirling blade of death. Skirmish one. Oh, what's this? Field notes. Oh, we got field notes. Cool. Go rank up real quick. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We'll go rank up and then we'll go back out and get that big one.
Okay. So who do we talk to to rank up? Uh, so this guy? We have a word for commander. I'd be happy to apprise the situation. Oh, this is just for like information on things. Yes. Okay, so we don't need you. Um, don't we talk to this guy? No. I grab this. Over here. Sorry, I was just trying to grab the Aetherite. Okay, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming, I'm coming. Oh, resistance commander. Okay. What? Welcome. If you believe your experts have proven your metal worth valuation, I would hear of them. That is, of course, assuming you have experts to report. If you have the surgery saver, I look forward. Yeah, that's what I did. Uh. Time to battle, yeah. Register for initial and then phase two. Click on the resistance crew and hit commence. All right, I'll commence. Oh, you got a bit. Well, too late now. But I, I, I couldn't talk to him. It's fine. We got, we'll got. we just keep stacking up our metal and then we'll go rank up a bunch afterwards. Hopefully it doesn't stack up too high, so... Yeah, so I was talking with the right guy, but I think I have to go do that other blue quest first. The one that's here, the expected engagement. I think I need to do that one first before it'll unlock being able to rank up the metal, so... Uh, I think the best food that I have at the moment, unironically, is eggs. Oh, Forgotten Fragment of Skill, Forgotten Fragment of Preparation. And then here are our notes. Let's move these down here. Yeah, to do any of this, I'm going to need to seriously clean inventory. <laughs> this is a huge nightmare for inventory mess. Hi, Rito. I'll be right out. All right, we're going to kill this, and then I'm going to go say night to my boy. Little junior. Oh, there we go. All right, we can go ahead and hit that. Ooh, uh, I'm gonna pick blue. I'm gonna pick red. I'm stuck. Oh, there we go. What was I doing? Oh, no. I got hit by the thing again. <laughs> oh, no. I got hit by the thing again. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Miro. Oh, I'm literally about to get hit by again. Heartbreak. <laughs> okay, so you get hit by those things and you start attacking your allies. No, I don't want to attack Katara! Go, go away! Run, Katara, run! Alright, there we go. Alright, so now watch out for ah, everything. Blah. Okay. 
We gotta build up our dodge meter real bad. Oh, 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 we got the purples. Purples. Oh, that's not what I want. And we got a stack. Oh. Ow. Ooh, nope. Ah, oh, nice. Awesome. Victory! Okay, cool. So there's actually um, limit breaks in here, too. All right, so let me run through this blue quest and see if then it'll give me the ability to use the metal to level up. Greetings, Big Captain. I take you to assume you joined the others in the southern front. Already been there. But my duties have kept me from here for the most part. I have heard tell of a carnage wrought in the battle by enemy soldiers in the War Machina. Indeed, the Imperials often prefer to wait until their intended target has been weakened before sending more troops to deliver the final blow. Yet for all their cunning, they are remarkably predictable. Let us suppose you destroyed one of their war mocking and the enemy receives word of your victory. They would no doubt assume the effort has left you exhausted, perhaps even battle wounded. Perfect opportunity to send reinforcements to overwhelm you. But what if, unbeknown to them, we are prepared for the arrival of these additional troops? The opportunity to further diminish their ranks. I would ask you to venture out into the battlefield and fell two Fourth Legion Nimrods and two Fourth Legion Slashers. Should they decide to send reinforcements, there will be no element of surprise to favor them. By defeating the War Machina, there's a chance to initiate critical engagements with their special encounters, which you just did. Victory and in increase your metal and earn you various spoils. Should you happen upon one, you can do that. Okay. Which we did, but we have not defeated those slashers yet. So we actually got to go defeat those slashers real quick. Have a good one, Seraphay. Thanks for coming. Have fun storming the castle. We got to go fight two of these things real quick. Uh don't want these little plants oh thanks for helping me destroy one already <laughs> we need two nimrods wherever they are death claw you got one already thank you <laughs> wow that was so easy I didn't have to do anything <laughs> That was the hardest battle we've ever faced. Let me know if it spawns a special encounter. <laughs> Anytime, Captain. <laughs> Alright. Cutscene. Ah, uh, you'll return, and none for the worse for wear, I see. Yeah, because I didn't actually fight anything. I expect that's more than we can say for any Imperials who dared cross your path. But enough about them. I wish to ask if you'd notice any particular crystalline objects on the battlefield. Bojan clusters, we call them. The Boja incident wrought a most unexpected change in the land, which we believe is what caused these clusters to appear. Our quartermaster would have any samples we find to further study this phenomenon. Yes, we do have a whole collection of them. We can't, we haven't much, but you can be certain she will see you rewarded for anything that you can offer. By defeating War Machina, you'll get clusters. The clusters can be exchanged for, to gain priority when players are selecting participation in critical ages. Oh, okay. Interesting. And then you can trade them out for some goods. If you don't mind me asking, have you taken time to report to my commanding officer? No, we need to do that. That's what we're trying to do. That's what we're trying to do. But you've been in our way. Considering all you've done to help us thus far, I'd say you're more than proving your mettle. He's certain to want to hear about what you've done out there. Which wouldn't be enough to actually normally level you, I don't think, but... Now we can. Oh, I got 300 metal! 
So that would have given us just the free the free metal to then talk to the resistance commander. What news from the front lines? Offer proof of your metal. Yeah. Were there not other soldiers to account for it, I would believe you report a work of fiction. The troops will no doubt be inspired when they hear of your accomplishments. I look forward to hearing more of your continued success in the field. Rank up. I wonder how many how many ranks you can get in this. Resistance quest is not available. If you have nothing else to report, I would not keep you. Unless, of course, you have more endeavors from the front line. Uh, yes. Let's see. I don't know if, uh... I, oh, yeah, I can. Double level. Nice. Uh, am I going to be dragged in if I don't accept the duty commencement? Uh, because I, I gotta go say, say goodnight to the, the boy. And so if you could do this one, you will not. Okay, cool. So you, you do this one, uh, on your own. And I will, I'll meet back up with you afterwards. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna go say, say night to Junior. And I'll be right back. Cool. Uh, let me see if I can slash. Nice. I'll be right back. Chair, you take good care of the stream, all right?
All right. Where were we? Go back and talk to Dimitar. You've come at a good time, Blade Kelton. I have a rather interesting report to share with you. While out on reconnaissance, our scouts happened upon relics we confirmed once belonged to Gunhilder's blades. It was a long believed the Queen's Guard possessed crystals within which they store the knowledge of their fighting techniques, and this discovery has removed all doubt. These forgotten fragments, as we call them, may very well turn the tide of war in our favor. You see, much to our surprise, Master Geralt claims to have experience working with similar crystals, and believes that the memories contained within can be extracted. He has set fast to work on a means to do so, and assures us it won't be long before their secrets are revealed to us. With their weapons and techniques at your command, you should be a true successor to the legacy of Gunhilder's Blades. This assumes that you're able to procure more of these fragments, of course. Judging by our scout's report, it would not be an easy task. It would appear that wherever they could be found, formidable beasts were not far behind. Still, it may prove beneficial to rid the battlefield of such creatures, not only for the sake of our fellow soldiers, but for the chance to acquire any fragments they may be in the vicinity of. I wish you the best of luck. Unidentified forgotten fragments can be obtained from felling monsters. They can also be traded or sold on the market board. Oh, you can trade and sell them on the market board? Uh, yes. We have some fragments. Because <laughs> we're supposed to do all this before we go running around on the battlefield. Well done, Blade Kelton. Well done indeed. Now, before you can begin the extraction process, these shards must first be apprised so we can tell what sort of memories they contain. Who's the appraiser? Oh, in the tent? Oh no, outside of the tent. This marauder. Henceforth, be sure to hand any fragments you find to our appraisers. In fact, one of them is stationed by that tent over there. Ah, so that's the lost treasure box. You trade in one and you get three back. It's pretty, pretty good trade. Lost actions unlocked. Okay, we probably need higher notoriety or metal to be able to do the next quest thing with him. So let's see what this is about. A prize forgotten fragments rank 15 and below. 16 or above. I'm definitely rank 15 or below. So, uh, sure. Oh, remaining three. Oh, there we go. Untradeable. Crystallized memory of an esoteric technique. Only available for use in Save the Queen areas. Whoa, you could literally learn new skills? What? Offensive. Paladin, monk, it's literally everything. Okay, interesting. Lost incense, one star, defensive. Lost protect, one star. Okay. Special actions. Let's try these guys. Resistance Phoenix. Item related. Resistance Potion. Resistance Potion. Resistance Potion. All the Resistance Potions. Okay, thanks. We got a ton of these. Essence of Ether Weaving. Materialist. Oh, Martialist. Ether weaving, ether weaving, veteran, veteran, ether weaving, plate bearer, veteran, ether weaving, veteran, plate bearer. See, I don't know what those actually are. So, and then we have a bunch of field notes that we need to turn into that other guy. Oh. Okay, so I guess I don't have enough to show him. Uh, Lost Finds Holster. Nope, not there. Battle underway. Can I join in the battle? No, I don't think I can join the battle. That's fine. Keep going around the edge of the arena. Oh, we are talking to people in the middle of the fight. What is the tier here on the offensive? Rank of five. Okay, cool. 
Well, rank three, so, yeah, you know, how long could it take to hit rank five, huh? How long could it really take to hit rank five? Plus, it'd be really cool with this is to, to kind of clear the map and, and see where things are at around the map, so... Oh, there's a lake over here. Okay. Whoa, look at that big fire up there. Yeah, we're not going to mess with that skirmish. <laughs> Clementine's just running right through. We're going to skirt around it and go meet up with everyone else. It's really nice. That, yeah, you can change class at any time. Obviously not when you're in the middle of fighting, but... There it is, just opened up a huge chunk. I was literally running through, just not being attacked by anything and changed. Yeah, I'm, I'm still running around the middle of the map and just changed over. I was going to try out one of these skirmishes on, on Paladin. Um, Samurai's cool. For sure, and that I think the being able to level up experience in in multiple you know things is, is really nice. But maybe we do go back to samurai, level up a little bit more. The ability to kind of dash out is really nice, especially when I don't know what is actively happening. Big AoE. Oh, that was cool. Got a big knockback. Where are you going, Mira? I think they're headed for another fate. Sure. You lead the way, I follow. <laughs> Go forth! <laughs> I don't know that it's uh, safe to have your hands right next to the, the front engine, but sure. Let's, let's, let's roll. Let's roll! It's so weird, like, you think that's the driver, you'd be the backseat, but this must be some kind of Magitech taxi service. 
the uh, the positions do, you know, size-wise, it makes sense, you know. Small seat up front, large seat at the back. The back bike from Final Fantasy XII. I can't help where the steering wheel is. <laughs> well, steer better. You gotta steer with your mind. You gotta steer with your mind. Oh, there, immediately won. Nice. <laughs> what a what a complicated uh, battle we did. Okay, so you kind of mainly focus on running around and going to... Oh, we can we can jump the next medal. Yeah, I, well, I, not the quests. I have to get to rank 5 before I can do the quests. I can hit rank 4 right now, but I need to do rank 5. <gasps> Doom! Hey, Doom Lasers! Thank you, thank you. You are the best. I'm going to get you onto that Minecraft server, and we're going to make some chaos happen, all right? Just you wait. We're doing it. Oh, interesting. Really good work, the enemy's been- Wow, excuse me, Legion Rotor. What on earth are you talking about? Oh, we are- we are gonna die. There's definitely- This is, um... <laughs> this is bad. This is real bad. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. <laughs> Appreciate you keeping me alive. There we go. Woof. Woof. <laughs> okay, so we can't go through here until we get the main line, the main enemy uh, group to retreat, which is because. Um, we haven't done enough quests in this area, so that's good to know. I really wanted to see what was going on in Old Boja, but I'm guessing as your metal increases and you've completed more things in the area, uh, you're pushing the front lines back, and then you have to go into the, the next areas. What would be really cool is if the, um, enemy, like, live in-game was getting harder and, and more was happening with it. I don't know how to explain it, but um There were like calls for reinforcements to the environment because they had pushed forwards. You, you get all the way to the end, except that then they come back out and they start doing it all over again. Kind of like Helldivers 2. How the uh, community has to keep being involved. <laughs> Did you say victory is so cool? Oh, look at all of these. I feel a little satisfaction. That's all the people that we were talking to. And they just run right past. Critical engagements are basically our calls for reinforcements. Right, when they when they do the um, grabbing a bunch of people, there's no critical engagements right now available. Because there's nothing big. There's just these small skirmishes. Yeah, they were helping fight, which is awesome. We actually got to see them running around the battlefield. I thought it was funny they just kind of just ran through the uh, the enemy, though. All right, well, we can start making our way back. I guess I can go ahead and return. And um, that way we can go ahead and level up and see what that unlocks, if it even unlocks anything, so. Yeah, I, you, you can do it, though. Go, on, go ahead. I'm not going to tell you to hold out on me. Level four. That's, yeah, that's kind of where I'm working towards, is getting level 5. Okay, so we only need... Oh! That's good to know. The XP that you're at before stays the same. You only um, keep adding more to it. That's good to know. So yeah, we are... We only have 1,000 you know, metal to, to gain, so maybe 3 engagements or something. Um, 
Oh, you lose XP for dying. More XP for returning to base instead of getting rezzed. Oh, so definitely don't die. See, I, wouldn't, I haven't known that yet because I haven't died at all, so. But I guess it makes sense. You lose metal, like, you're, you're battling. Let's go see if we can haul our slow Rathalos butt all the way over here and join in this uh, skirmish before it ends. <laughs> go, Lalaki! I'll help out. There we go. <laughs> oh, your motorcycle is so much faster than Rathalos. I'm so slow. So slow. Yo, go ahead. You're welcome to go on ahead. I'm just taking my time. We're picking up people en route. <laughs> we continue. Oh, 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 it's already over. <laughs> it's already over. <laughs> That's fine. Whoa, that fire salamander looks so cool, Holo. Hey, Justana. Leave him just out. We got another fate to join. It's not a critical engagement, but it's a skirmish. Oh, a skirmish with a big old plant. Oh. Shadow something or other. Shadow familiar. Nice. Oh, that was 500. And we got a front locker. Cool. <laughs> We're making our own skirmish. <laughs> Oh, I'm just going to run out of this one. Five hundred away. One more of those big skirmishes and uh, that'd be enough to hit level five. <laughs> Who can grab the most?
Kala, how's it going? We're having a little bit of fun doing some Boja leveling. This is my first time here and first time seeing all this stuff, which is really cool. Oh, there is a fate way over there. We go. Yeah, only skirmishes give the, the like, metal XP. Do regular monsters not give any XP at all? I assume that you at least get a little bit of, like, tiny bit of leveling speed, so. We ride. None. None whatsoever. Oh my gosh. They drop the items, and they're the ones that then collect and, and set up the, um, the skirmishes, so. Right, you kind of have to progress. You didn't tell me you were streaming, and I have Discord on my phone. My phone service is working at the moment. Oh, that's okay. That's okay, yeah. I usually almost always stream at the same time, so that's kind of helpful to, to know if you're looking for when the streaming is happening, but uh, glad you could make it. Glad you could make it. I think we're doing about another 30 minutes or so minimum. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Tree's blocking my way. I can't escape. Ow. Uh-oh. Oh, I'm definitely going to die. Ooh, 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 excuse me. What is all of that mess? I thought the big guy was making those AoEs, but I guess not. It's this guy here. Dagooza the Shrewd. Let's fire some ranges at him. There we go. Skirmish one. There's that 500 XP. We got... We got level up, baby! Alright. And... Oh, we can't use return? Oh, we just have to walk back. Alright. Flying back. Slowly, not flying, slowly walking back. There, you got faster, faster ride. Hop in, we're going on an adventure. Run before the Magitek hand grabs you and yanks you into the air. <laughs> we go, boing, boing, boing up the hill. <laughs> the little baby thrusters. It's like Mario Kart, if you hit the uh, thrusters at the right time to bounce over the hill, you get a boost in speed. Yeah, exactly. Now make sure the next time you jump off the air, you hit that 360 spin. You can uh, get some real bonus points off of it. <laughs> That's right. 360 no scope, baby. Yeah. Oh, that was good. That was good. What's that called? A, a, a nair? Where you, you kind of flip it on the side. And it looks like you're about to do a trick. There's the 360! That was sick! Oh, we're going down the pipe, baby! Half pipe all the way! Oh, I don't know if this is going to be enough to get him an Olympic record, but it's certainly something. Through the gates for the clean finish. <laughs> that was awesome. All right, resistance, Commander. Oh, no, did Mari go down? <laughs> Not Mari, Miri. <laughs> No, I don't want to do this. I clicked the wrong thing. Proof that everyone else is, uh, has more metal than we do. And we just, we, <laughs> we just tag along. <laughs> we ride their coattails. The new resistance quest is now available. Shall join the research on the forgotten fragments is proceeding at pace. Our appraisers are confident they can identify a greater variety of fragments. Pray they'll be used for you in battle. From what our scouts have told me, the fighting grows fiercer and more desperate with each passing day. I have no doubt that you've dealt with such overwhelming odds before, but I remind you to stay vigilant. There's no telling what they have planned. All right. When fighting at resistance five or higher, incapacitation will result in a loss of metal. Oh, okay, so previous to five, you wouldn't actually lose it. The use of return after incapacitation will incur an additional penalty. The penalty incurred will vary depending on your resistance rank. Ah, so that's why it's really good to get rezzed. Yeah, we got some stuff we can give. Not a whole lot, but a little bit. Uh, rank 15 or below. Got two of these. Zing! 
Resistance Phoenix. Resistance Phoenix. Oh, is this the little the little power-up boost that everyone has? Essence of the Savior. Maybe. You need 200 of them. We gotta, we gotta really grind on those things. I had my puppy's tug-of-war toy around my wrist while I was texting my husband on what I wanted for dinner so he could still play. Yes! Uh, I used to do that. You can hold 200 maximum. Got it. Um, I used to do, like, certain toys and things of that nature on, like, my foot, and I would just kind of yank on my foot while I was doing something, either on the phone or by hand or whatever. So where are all those things going, then? Lost finds holster? Yeah, they're not in here, that's for sure. Notoriety, zero. Oh, we gotta do the quest. i uh, just walk right past the quest guy. Go to the cache. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. Next to the crazy. The box. Check the box, Jake. The box. Blade Kelton. We received word from the field. The Empire's forces have fallen back. In fact, our troops have pushed forward far enough as to claim an enemy encampment near the southern entrance. My commanding officers instructed me to give you a brief tour of the site at your earliest convenience. I will wait you there. Okay, so then we go across. Cross map. Before we do that, let's go look at these items. What's in the box, man? So after you appraise it, it all dumps into here, and then you can pick and choose what you... What? Oh, man. Okay. So this temporarily applies heavy to self while reducing damage taken by 90% nulling nullifying most... Okay, that's cool. Lost in sense. Gesture threatening. It puts yourself at the top of the target's enemy team list. So if you're tank, that's a really good thing to use. Okay. So now where do I where do I put this? Where do I... Add to holster. Oh! Add to holster. Add to holster. And now it's in your Lost Finds holster. Applies a barrier to self or target player reducing physical damage taken by 10%. Um, that's really cool. Phoenix. Resurrects target. We could say definitely want to grab some of these. Um, so that way we can use them on people that might need it. And these are all like temporary things. Duration 6 seconds. Right. So we use it and then it's gone. Um... Increases damage dealt by 80%. I like that. Gradually restores HP. Increases damage dealt by 60. Healing potency by 60. Physical defense by 150. Oh, but see, I can't use those. Oh, we can't use these. So, uh, store and cash, store and cash. We can use these. So, we'll grab those. Sure. Uh, yes. If you have enough potion clusters, you can trade them for a riding map from the Quartermaster. Riding Master increases mount speed. That's the... Boxsmith resistant supplier? Quartermaster. Oh, there he is. He was hiding over here in the corner. The essences last until you exit Boja. Oh, that's cool. One essence in session. Okay. So you're changing your role. Quest prior to deployment, exchange for items. Let's see here. Exchange for items. Ah, and we have how many clusters right now? Oh, did I trade all my clusters in? No, we're collecting these on the side. We got 20 clusters. There we go. Um, single identified memory. Okay, so this is how we can get more memories. But the maps are 25. So we'll just hang on to five more and we'll get we'll get the riding map. That's a good plan. Yep, we'll just collect five more of these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's uh, go do the quest to get into the next area. Man, the XP jump was massive. A thousand, and then this was six thousand. Little, little less than six thousand XP jump. It's crazy. Dark Entreaty is the malevolence map, or 
Levelence emote? Oh, is that the like the evil emote that Lalaki does a lot? Yeah. <laughs> Spooky. I have once before I'm old, I just have a horrible memory. Is there a secret to getting those so fast? Uh, be in a party of people and then let them run around and uh, cause chaos and then you get rewarded for it. So uh, I think at the beginning um, there was, we were running around killing stuff before I had even finished all of the quests. <laughs> Like I was joining in fates and stuff, but then I went back and it's like, oh yeah, you gotta you gotta do these quests. What is th that's so gross? We fought this thing once before. Burn flower. It's not even a special thing. It does have a star next to it, but it's not like a fate or anything. It's just there. It's not a skirmish. Oh, there's little rankings. The two, three, one. Oh. Okay, that's good to know. I wonder how that affects... Star means you will die fighting. <laughs> yeah, I assumed as much. It definitely looked uh, pretty bad, that's for sure. Unless the tank. I could switch over to a tank, so... Killing normal enemies drop them. If you kill a star enemy, they drop 10 at once of special kinds. So well, maybe we should go kill it. Uh, welcome to Olana's Stand. If you wish to travel between here and Utia's Aegis, feel free to use that Aetherite shard over there. I suggest attuning to it before you leave. One last thing. While we've made great strides in our fight against the Empire, there's so much to be done before we can retake Castrum Lycus Litio. I expect the enemy will only grow more determined as we advance forward. But we must press on. For Boja! Nice. Now we got more things that we can turn in. Hey, I'm down to try. Not having friends? Kala, sounds like you need to join the Discord. Uh, the people of the Discord are extremely friendly and very happy to help uh, do all sorts of different leveling or events or just hang out, you know? Oh, yikes. Poor guy needs to go to the infirmary. Yeah, definitely hit the Aethernet. Most definitely. Do not want to miss the opportunity. All right, let's go fight that star thing. I'll switch over to tank. So I am slightly less likely to die. I say slightly less likely to die. Okay, so here's our holster. Oh, we don't have anything in there. What? Did I cancel it or something? I thought this is where we had our, our potions. Eighteen fra you already killed it! You already killed it! Eighteen fragments, that's crazy! Alright, y'all are way too strong. Not the dice! Go south for more. No, we're going we're going north. We're gonna go we're gonna go explore this next area and see what's going on there. I just wanted to kill the, the star thing because he looked funny. Yeah, I don't know what happened to our, our lost finds. We're going to go back to the chest in here and check in real quick, so. Forgotten fragment of caution. So I added a bunch of this stuff. Uh all of this in there just for kicks and giggles confirm oh there we go yeah i think i might have accidentally yeah i might have accidentally uh killed it like um canceled it so defense by 80 percent maximum HP at 45 percent damage dealt by 60 percent and gradually restores hp we could only have one at a time so let's do Let's do the martial list. Oh, there are fragments? Yeah, I got 18 caution fragments. I got all the fragments. <laughs> I'll take them. Because I'm a jerk. There we go. Get in here. Ooh. 
That's not what I want to do. <laughs> Skirmish is over. Oh, all these guys came and helped out again. Scavenger Man Sorrow. Nice. I was just running with them. All right. Uh, I'm going to keep going on the map, if that's cool with you all, just because I want to explore the rest of the map and see what's on, on the other side. Because um, we're only at the beginning, but... Maybe some other face to do that. You got fragments too? Nice. Go use them. Yeah, what is... Oh! Oh! That's what this stuff is. This is from the um, explosion. That crater. The buildings are melted and are, are like twisted into these spikes of molten metal and stone. Yeah, that's nuts. And it's all pointing away from the crater. Because that's where the, the site of the nuke, the energy, was enough to do this. That's so crazy cool! I actually had a... Uh, oh, Star Mob? Star Mob? Star Mob? Star Mob? Where's Star Mob? Karinica? Oh, over there. We'll go to Star Mob. Um, I have, a again, a, one of the, the books that I'm working on. There was an idea for this creature, uh, this kind of sandworm. Smaller than like dune sandworms, but that it basically traveled through the sand by melting the sand It produced so much heat that it turned it into like molten glass and would you know swim through it um, But it left behind these like streaks of glass that would leave these uh, Needles of glass all over it's cool cool idea Now we're here we got it A V Sounds like he's going to be in very much trouble. Oh, I probably should have switched to... Um... Oh, 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 wow. I just got nuked again. <laughs> no. I'll see if somebody can, can res me. Man, I, I saw it coming. I thought I was out of the way of it, but no, I got whacked anyway. Thank you, Mira. Holo got nuked too. <laughs> Everyone's getting nuked. Everyone's getting nuked. This is why you got clemency. I got to be my own healer. Man, he is just swinging this hammer like nuts. He's got a long wind. Oh, 100 done. That's that's out. Yeah, that, out, out, out. Got it that time. Cool. I pay attention to these things. So 10 ton is straightforward. Oh, 100 swipe. Ooh, ow. Swipe is swinging in an arc in front of him. Ten ton smash is straight in front of him. Oh man, that's crazy. Fourteen forgotten fragments of ingenuity. I hope that some of you all got something out of that. I don't want to keep stealing everything. <laughs> Yeah, there you go. Ingenuity. 12, yeah. Okay, nice. Good, 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 good. People got individual drops. Oh, there's another fate down here. Not fate, but a uh, skirmish. Oh, we gotta go through the swim, so. Once I get the urge to do it again, you'll try. <laughs> you are You are welcome to come and struggle with me. You're welcome to come and struggle with me, because this is definitely a struggle. I am... I've got, uh, skirmish joined! For a second, I thought we got there and it was over already. The rest of the squad, too strong. Run wild. Oh, I could have, uh... Interrupted that. Oh, somebody else interrupted that. Nice. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, I mean, it'd be kind of interesting to use Boja as, like, a, a experience farmer.
Oh, that's not exactly where I was trying to go, but sure. We'll do that. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ow! I think I got hit by that. Yep, I did. Oh, we're fighting with the resistance fighters too. That's awesome, yeah. Bahaj Saljan the Righteous, he's literally right here. Run, 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 run. Nice. Oh, a thousand experience for that. Huge. Huge. I wonder how I turn in the field notes. Because I couldn't seem to turn in the field notes before. You use the notes. Oh, 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 oh. Added to your field record. There we go. Durr. Durr. Field notes on Zevin. Oh, and we're making field notes even on the, the people that we fight with. That's cool. Because a lot of these people were the people that um, were the resistance, the Bojan resistance fighters. Nice. The lock boxes are prohibited, so I'll have to figure out how to use those. Uh oh, oh, I don't want to walk right into these guys. Long drive for the next one. What time is it? Yeah, we got maybe one more. If this one gives me enough experience to uh, level up, we'll go in and rank up. And uh, probably pause there for the night. But this is kind of cool. Especially because it's not, like, super intense. I'm sure it's, like, so much easier with a huge party of people um, that we're getting all of these fragments and everything. Trying to do this solo would be kind of a, a bit of a pain. Um, but... Could still be done. You just got to pick your battles more carefully. It's painful solo. I can imagine, because you got to do the skirmishes solo, and that's really where the experience is at. And then, on top of that, how are you going to do the really, really big fights? I wouldn't touch a level 3 alone unless you know what you're doing. Yeah, exactly. Which I definitely, most definitely, do not know what I'm doing. Let's move out of the way of that. Oh. Oh, we got Zevin, the vengeful here. Ow. Took a hit by that. Ooh, gonna take a hit by that too. Oh, this is nope. Is this the guy? Lacarius? No. We're just kind of cleaning up the last of the fight. I think all the, the main guy went down. Here we go. A thousand. Oh, we're so close. 800 away. Where's the next fate? Oh, we did get to the end here, though. Lunia's stand. Alana's stand. Cool. Oh, wait. No, there's a whole section over here. Last trace? What? Yeah, there's a huge section over there that we didn't get to.
Is that the one that starts with the with a Z, the third area? Uh, I don't know, maybe. That's Trace. Elmer, climb. You can all the way get to the caster. That's actually kind of cool. You can go all the way to the caster. I guess it's over once you get to the caster. That's it. There's no more fighting. Push is done for you. Oh, there's a long, long haul to the other fate. But we could do it. The other skirmish. I'll race you there. Though I said, can we? Oh man, it'd be really cool if we could just jump to the Aethernet. We'd probably have to return and then use that Aethernet shard to try to jump over there. No, oh, Holo, you're so fast. I wonder if we can look in our currency and see how many clusters we have. No, we do not. We are maxed out on our uh, tombstones now. Because you get a lot of tombstones from this, so... Thank you, Holo. <laughs> Very distracting. Yatana, beat us! Yeah. <laughs> they went the Aethernet route that I was talking about. That's what I thought. I was like, maybe that is a faster route. That's pretty hilarious. There is more zones. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I would guess there's like five, six zones? Maybe? Oh, no, my goodness. Uh, scary guy. Oh, the drill of the world! Whoa, we already beat the skirmish! It's over! <laughs> they drilled for the world! Yeah! We got the... We can level up our metal! Let's go! We'll help clean up the last of these guys. Nice. Alright, return... To the front. To the front gate! Oh, 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 I, I have no idea. Where's Nathan? We actually, it was only nighttime, so now we're actually getting to see it during the day. I didn't realize this was really pretty. Look at this. The greens in it. Super nice. Level five? No, we're ranking to level six, baby. Level six. Offer proof. Rank up. What's the, what's the highest rank you can get? Like 25 or something? A new quest is available. Okay. Uh, let's try to turn in... Oh, Mikoto's here. And another quest. Oh, I'm so tempted. Let's try to turn in these things. 25. Yeah, okay. Only four, 24 million experience to go? What? That's ridiculous. Okay, well, I used the note things, but I don't know that that, uh, did anything. 25 million? I am at 9,000 of 25 million. That's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Alright, uh, exchange for items. Oh, we only have 21 clusters. We got so many clusters in the beginning. And now we're down to we're still 21. We'll have to wait a little bit more before we get the 25 for that. Armor, accessories, others. What else is this? Music. Music. Construct 14. Wind collar? Oh. Feathering and styling technique to achieve the windswept look of a legendary Vartan warrior. That's cool. Dark Entreaty, there you go. Point of Miscuse. We have that one. Cool. And a parasol. Why are they selling a parasol here? That's so random. 
Got to kill random field monsters for clusters. Oh, okay. So that's maybe something that could be done, so. Classy checkered parasol. Uh, I actually already have one of those, so I'm good. Classy checkered parasol. You got that tonight? Congratulations. Um, so I don't know if these are worth it to throw on the market board or to run in here. Um, I'm going to hang on to it. I'm going to think about it. And maybe I'll put them on the market board for some gill, or maybe uh, I'll I'll run some more Boja. But um, it might be fun to do another another evening of Boja. But this has been awesome and really cool. It definitely does feel like you're you're actually fighting a war um, with the trenches and everything, and the way that the engagement stuff kind of leveled up over the course of the different fights where you start with skirmishes and you get critical engagements and all this sort of stuff. But yeah, there's that crater over there. And I couldn't believe it when I finally got up there to level two. I'm so glad we did. And you just see these melted buildings just, just absolutely flattened by that laser. I want to go over there and explore that so much more, but yeah, there's like an internal crater of the blue. And then there's the external crater that created all of the spiky edge around everything. That's just wild. The third zone gives you access to Castrum. Very cool raid. That's awesome. Well, maybe we'll find another night to do that. Next week will probably be MSQ, but uh, I think it'll be fun to do another another Bosha night and see if we can get up to the third one. So, I feel like a huge army storming the castle. <laughs> Thank you all for coming out. It's been tons of fun. It's been awesome. It was a good break. Uh, and it was an enjoyable break uh, for a birthday stream. Um, and I appreciate all of y'all's uh, participation and helping me get a bunch of clusters and learn a bunch about how all this stuff works. So I'm going to have to figure out how to do with uh, something with all these totems. Maybe on some day I can get somebody to help me figure out what I'm doing with all this stuff and uh, what I can toss and what I'm keeping. And I need to get rid of all these cards. You can see <laughs> triple triad anytime. 